His name's Rhapsody. My name's Teak. And this is Raps and Teak Take a Peek. Welcome back. Rhapsody, how you doing? Could not be doing better, Teak. How about yourself? I'm I'm glad to be a, a character in a Quentin Tarantino movie today. <laughs> feeling, oh no. I'm feeling in place. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't be glad to be a <laughs> It, it, historically, that doesn't work out well for many of them, Tick. Well, I don't know how well fighting in tight spaces is going to work out for us. So maybe, maybe it is actually exactly, exactly the right play. I am pretty keen. It is one of the games that has always been like, if I could start two series, I would mm. have started this one and also started doing some fights in tight spaces. Right? It it was <laughs> always the next cab off the rank. Have you watched any? Have you? What is your engagement level with the game? My only engagement with the game so mm. far is having had a backstage discussion with uh, Rito, who's doing a series on it, mm. uh, and that discussion pertained exclusively to like, is this something that I should start on my channel? Right. Got gotcha. you. And the <laughs> answer the, was, I got the advice that I yes. should, but <laughs> I, I couldn't justify games. it. Curse of the Dead Gods came out, Teak. No, but but this is perfect, and and. You know, Raps and I talked about this quite a lot before the stream, before the, before the recording. What do you, before the episode? Episode. Before the yeah. cameras came on, which is what? What exactly are we making? And and we talked about it in the first episode, which is, we've got a series which goes very deep. Ladder Streak is all about taking a game in which we have significant shared expertise and pushing the limits of consistency, pushing the limits of ability. We need a release valve for our interest in in novel experience and in those aha moments and learning new things. Mm -hmm. And so that's this is perfect. The kinds of games that you really want to play, but you just haven't found time for yet in, in all of the work that you do running whatever 62 series a day like you do. How many games are you playing right now, Raps? Uh, it's seven. 62. Seven regularly. That is, that's a lot. That's a lot of video games. It like is. Just even cycling how to play them. Yeah. It, that there is definitely an element to that that uh you know sometimes the first five minutes of an episode after i've mm. had to change pace like i've been recording four hours of one game and now i've got to backlog the next game uh is a little bit like changing gear and hearing the it's engine groan it, yeah there's whiplash oh, definitely yeah. involved in it right yeah yeah i mean I've, I've even felt that just with two games like when we were switching from luck be a landlord to spire and and i had to switch mindset from just click on the things to okay wait we'll actually lose if we just click on the things right yeah but but i'm excited for fights in tight spaces this week i'm in the exact same place as you i have watched like a second of this game enough to see that it's mostly black and white it's very mm -hmm. stylized like kind of illustrated fighting but i don't know anything about the strategy i've not seen a full run through i've just i've only heard good things just like you so i'm excited to play this kind of exists in the realm of things that i would think of like Deck Builder has obviously become a resurgent genre uh, re relatively recently. We can thank Slay the Spire in large parts for that mm -hmm. uh, resurgence. And as I'd mentioned previously, the kind of like wave theory of games coming out and you know experimenting with the formula in a, in a small yeah. way, in a larger way, in a more interesting way, kind of like diversifying New with wave, other genres. Second wave. Mm -hmm. This game is, as far as I understand from having seen three seconds of gameplay... <laughs> <laughs> uh is is uh pushing the presentational aspect right the ability to kind of like yeah. watch the combat in a cinematic fashion which was right. something i really enjoyed about john wick hex it was playing a mm. uh, a strategy game and then being able to wrap it up at the very end watching a cinematic scene yeah. which just felt sure it, okay saying it felt like a john wick scene it definitely looked like a john wick scene in a lot of ways right. but obviously john wick scenes right. are you know heavily choreographed but it, it evokes sure, that effectively sure. oh. it's Interesting because as we dive in, a bit of knowledge from me, I'll try to keep it brief, but this stuff is like an easy nerd snipe. Mm. Slay the Spire was not the 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 pathfinder in the genre space. It was Dream, Dream Quest. Quest. Dream Quest. But Dream Quest looks like Microsoft Paint. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very bare bones game. It's kind of like a gamer's game or a game designer's game. And so a bunch of people took Dream Quest and said, we can do something beyond. And obviously Mega Crit with Slay the Spire, but also Dicey Dungeons at the same time with Terry Cavanaugh, mm -hmm. developed independently and separately with a similar idea. And so I think this is the natural next step, which is like, okay, but how can we spice it up even more? Or how can we hybridize in new genres? Can we get a little bit more action in there, right? So yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I love it. 
Let's I mean, fight. Uh, Let's fight in tight spaces. Just, just a quick question, RE Dream Quest. Hmm. Have you played Dream Quest? I haven't. Hmm. Have you? Let's, uh, I have not. Let's press play to oh. answer. <laughs> we got a couple <laughs> different options here on the screen. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> one, ju one just second here. I have to make sure okay. that I don't have this uh, muted off screen and I did not want to bring up my screen just in case. There we go. Yeah, I did have it muted off screen. Okay. Then I can close that, bring that back to the forefront and go for display capture because I couldn't game capture this game. So if I did that, you all just would have seen my desktop, which is not clean mm. at the moment. So not you got it's got to be clean. Not you just, clean. You just right just click and hide there. things. Yeah. So I always do that. I like... I do that, but then also there have been a few times that I've set up things on the uh, on, mm. on the homepage just so that if I do tab out of a game or if like some stutter occurs, uh, there are jokes on there for people to read because I know people will pause mm. it and go like inspect all the icons. So I put a bunch of jokes <laughs> in there for people. Um, right, right. But they turned off at the moment. It's just I have other windows open. All right. mm. Enable joke, load joke mode is off. On. Exactly. Uh, we'll turn that down just a little more and doesn't seem to have any accessibility options we can turn on there. Let's launch into a new game. In we go. Fights in tight spaces. All right. Would you like to take the voice of the, uh, the guard that is addressing us? Um, sure. Do you think this is like a boss or like a guard? He's got a mustache. He's got he's got mm. like widow's peaks going up to the side. I'm gonna say that this is kind of like a like a, a receptionist tier for an evil organization. Okay, Agent Eleven. Hmm. So, <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I'll 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 give you the same prompt back. What uh what what kind of characterized form do little, we have? A little a little gruff, like 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 a James Bond style character, right? Like, um, pretending to be classy facade of classy sir <laughs> perfect we have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills you have a deck select through balance counter striker aggressive and mm. trickster Ooh, a collection of unusual abilities for less conventional agent unfortunately we will have to select balance here it looks like we just have to beat people up long enough to learn how to how to trick mm -hmm. we don't have those skills yet we, exactly. We have not yet developed them. We can't be a counter striker for we have not yet been struck. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We have a couple options okay. in here. The quick strike, push, block, head smash. I think rather than individually try and read through these and assume what the keywords are, we will let the game give us that context. We also have an emergency yeah. move, gain an emergency move card at the start of the fight. That I imagine is going to be some sort of a, a relic, artifact, etc. system. Is this just our deck? There's not a selection here. This is just our deck. Yeah, no, this is just our base deck. It's interesting that it starts with so many different options. My, my suspicion is that they're ultimately really similar, but they have different choreography. Yes, I, I imagine a hell of them are. Like, in fact, we can see a good example of that here, right? Move around mm. a target, gain one momentum, or move one. Here, move past the target, or move two. Right. right. Very similar cards. Very, very similar, it looks like. Okay. Select that deck. Sweet. What was that emergency move? Did you, did it, well, we'll see it in a fight. Yeah, I believe it just gives you that in your opening hand of each fight. So we should, uh, should okay. see those at the time. Section 11 training and the Death's Head Biker Gang. Let's go for the uh, essential training. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you back, Agent 11. Thank you, sir. Report back to me when you've completed your training. <laughs> I like that my character is extremely terse. It means I don't actually have to decide on an accent for them. <laughs> My accent has changed subtly three times, so don't worry about it. So good. We've got the enhancements That's how down you here. You identify the untrained VA is when the accent just changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. I have uh, a lot of characters that have what I call a traveling accent because they grew up in a bunch mm. of different uh, nations and they just cycle between them, and that's completely fine. Sometimes right? he's Australian and and sometimes he's Hawaiian. Yeah, it just depends on the day. It really They're does. Close. Now, I will take a moment to demonstrate here. We've got the enhancements down here in this corner. I made sure to check on the battle screen that I'm not going to be blocking too much information, but we've got the enhancements down here. We can see that the emergency move is in the first slot. We have four okay. unlocked slot at the moment and then two locked at the end. So in contrast to other things, if that is mm. a representation of like a relic or an artifact or you know trinket kind of it's system, limited. it's limited. Exactly. It's like Grifflands. Yes, with the, uh, with the, with with the, the, the neuro graphs. mods, the graphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Griftgraft. 
Beautiful presentation. Fights in Tight Spaces is a turn-based deck-building fighting game. I always feel really weird reading instructions of buttons to press. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm on stream, I would read it as press uh, and uh, buttons to rotate your view left and right. Because who cares if it's Q and E? Okay, we can highlight cards in our hands and we can select a card. So far, it adds up. So far, quite typical. Okay, the tile based is new. That part's different. We seem to be in like a boxing ring. It's, it's, yep, but that's... we're having regular un, unplanned combat in it. So we find our enemies and then we we ask them to a friendly friendly WWE match. Oh yeah. Step in the square ring, brother. <laughs> You're going down, <laughs> brother. Oh yeah. <laughs> we uh... <Not> favorite accents. <laughs> <laughs> Macho man right Cream of the cropper rises to the top and I am the Kareem brother. <laughs> <laughs> That whole scene where he's just like pulling them out of everywhere, just it feels so surreal. It feels like dream logic is working in that scene. It is. It is. It's not real life. It's for a moment. You you escape. That's right. We uh, have a selection curse that we move to an indicated title. Press the thing to indicate the action. Yeah. Uh, right click. Okay. So these are mechanical things that you're not necessarily going to have to know. So I'm not going to read them out. But um, we punch dealing four damage there. Some cards. I think the part out. that's that matters here is that when there are multiple enemies or when we're playing around enemy actions, our position on a tile might matter. Like we might choose to take a step backwards to be out of range of a jab or something. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it has kind of like an intent system that's giving us the information as what the enemy is going to mm -hmm. be doing on their own turn, or if they have yes. indeed, as it looks like right now, only one action that they can do. So we know uh... what to try and expect from them and play around. In which case I imagine the enemy density and variety is going to be high. And it looks like they're specifically punching the forward square. Where yes. There's a red tile. Possible attack. Okay. This tile is in range of one or more enemy attacks. Okay. Some cards cool. uh, require momentum to play. You see this indicated in the top right of the cards. This is our mana, energy, equivalent, etc. Uh, mm. If a card cannot be played, its momentum cost will be shown in red. So we can see we cannot play the double jump kick here because we only have one momentum stack. Just Which right is up. our energy system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, momentum gotta have a new name for every game yep it's it's gotta make it difficult for me to remember when i swap between Relic, games trinket artifact energy ember mm -hmm. momentum i'm pretty sure mana. i still don't know what is is it is it artifact in monster train i i have i don't not for the i have no idea it's a merchant of trinkets oh it's trinkets but, I, but are they I, I actually had forgotten they'd be trinkets yeah. then right you'd assume they're uh, just they're just you put the whiz bang you know it's yeah your current here. momentum is shown here, as we can see, directly up and to the left of my head. Uh, and okay. next turn, it is the amount of momentum you will start with. Play the focus card to refuel momentum. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we don't refuel at the start of each turn. Curious. So playing one card uses a turn, or did we have multiple cards? I played one, and I don't know if the enemy would have responded to it. It's possible this is kind of like a training dummy situation, so I imagine okay. we'll learn whether or not we play one or more cards in a single turn. I don't know what this three number is here. I suspect it may be the amount of cards we play in a turn. May we'll yeah, maybe, maybe. And it almost feels like enemies can only have reactive moves. Like, th this enemy is not trying to move forward, but mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Right, so we have oh, the... yeah, just go straight in for the double jump kick. <laughs> We have the momentum to play the double jump kick here as mm. well. And it also says advance. So I wonder if that keyword mm. means we are going to be moving forward. You can see the minimum maximum damage of a card in its area. Okay. So the, the okay. two to two is the minimum maximum range of it. So we have to be two spaces away. And then it will advance you forward at the end of the movement. I believe so, but we'll see if it allows us to... Let's try it. Yeah, we go in, we create profuse blood splatter with mm -hmm. our feet space and then forward if an opponent is pushed out of the fight space they are knocked out immediately so it's sumo rules enemies okay, can be pushed it, over yeah. railings or anywhere you see a hazard yeah. marker give him the chair out he goes get out of here <laughs> i dead. love the ragdoll oh gosh <laughs> what the heck it's like fall guys for a minute there mm-hmm a little bit it's of that gonna take a lot of of my power to not just say super hot 
all <laughs> night while we play this game. I, j I can't see black and white games anymore and red without thinking of super hot. It's just like imprinted. It's that there is a part of me that's thinking of this. If it wasn't that that uh, that white is the predominant color, but black instead, yeah. and then white with the accents instead of the the inverse, mm -hmm. uh, I would be in the Sin City realm just because that oh, with yes. the red trim is very Sin City. Yep. yep, yep. Well, in the fighting theme too, you know, it's all it's all coming together. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says you'll sometimes be given warning where and when new enemy when new enemies will arrive. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving until the next turn into the breach yes this is exactly. gonna be a series where we just mention other games as we try to build the fabric the weaving of what games we're reminded of so that we can bootstrap our learning and into the breach enemy spawn block is a primary mechanic for mm -hmm. solving the puzzle of each fight and so it's cool to see that here in super hot too if you play in any super of the high difficulties in fights um... in tight spaces <laughs> super hot fights in tight spaces fights in tight fights. spaces <laughs> Um, that especially in Into the Breach, like a, as you mm -hmm. go through the levels of difficulty, if you aren't spawn blocking, you will just become overwhelmed and lose. Like it, you'll it get overwhelmed. You you can't key. fight them all. It's not like an RPG where you need to min max. You you have to to reduce. Oh wait, we just got information. Uh, press this to end your turn. So we ended our turn there. It was three cards in a turn that we played. Oh. Okay, but we're only holding two cards. Mmm, I don't know what our draw engine is. Each time you make a successful attack, your combo level will increase. Combo is maintained between turns. Some cards require a specific combo limit. Okay, so that's... Is that not momentum? Uh, specific that's, combo level before not. they are played. For example, left spin kick. Yeah, it looks like the... the Is it a hexagon? No, it's an octagon. Mm -hmm. The octagon is momentum, and the re please recycle symbol is used to indicate that you've chained together some eviscerates or whatever mm -hmm. i do like there's the also of... oh that's health the 40 of 40 is health health combo momentum yes i i do like the kind of like dual energy system because it does reflect yeah. a combat right like stepping towards someone or spin kicking or, or double jump kicking someone in the air those kinds of things mm -hmm. those require momentum but a yeah. left spin kick that's something that you perform as part of a combo so obviously that's going to be near the top of the combo i like it a lot At as someone who spends 10 hours a day sitting in my chair for work, I'm absolutely familiar with all of the requirements of a spin kick. <laughs> so this is, this is, it checks out. Absolutely. I, I would, I would ask you to like demonstrate a perfect spin kick for us right now, but I know. Please stand up. That we're not going to be able to, <laughs> That's right. our self-esteem, everyone's will be crushed knowing that we're well, not going to be able to emulate such an excellent spin kick. You can't capture it in this small box. I need a bigger box. It's true. Unfortunate right there. Mm -hmm. Movement will reduce your combo level by one per tile of movement. Use the step card to move in front of the enemy. So, wait, will step I lose comp? Okay, so you lose combo even if you're moving naturally. Mm. So I think you can't move without cards then. Are we just seeing a limited set of actions because it's tutorial? Or is this emulating actual turns of draw? I'm not sure, so I imagine it's probably uh, prudent of us to try and get through this to the first fight as quickly as we can. That Enemies. was cool. That moved the enemy to the side. So mm -hmm. it not only did damage, but it protected us from the counterattack. That's cool. Enemies will be activated if they are targeting the player at the beginning of their turn, or if any character enters their range during their turn. Another kind of into the breach, similar mechanic, with the, uh, kind of. the intense system of the enemy. It looks like mm -hmm. if they're not going to hit anything, though, they won't fire. Okay, so it's, it's like, they're kind of dummies. It's like pure attack of opportunity. They're, they're more like a tower defense. Hmm, in an interesting way, definitely. Once an enemy has been activated, they will attack at the end of the turn regardless of the allegiance of their target. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is, in, it is into the breach then. That's so funny. This is really a lot of overlap. Press and hold alt to um, something. I held ult too early and now won't tell me what ult's doing. Pass the cover, what are you uh, doing? cursor over an initial enemy to see their stats. Okay. Normal thugs come if armed. You... They have an attack target at the moment. We can see a range attack that deals 10 damage. And then this has 8 on it. Are you still holding ult or did you Yes, let... I was holding ult that entire time. So actually... Okay. Yeah, it's just revealing the information above the head without having got to it. hover over individual targets. Got it, got it. 
An enemy's info panel will also show the order in which they will attack on their turn. Hmm. And what does it say right now? Up. Oh, I see. Two. Okay. Okay. If you can see this icon in an enemy's info panel, that means they are currently primed to attack on their turn. So that's them having a target. Oh, because that enemy has gun, which is has further travel than fist magic. Mm -hmm. Typically. Bullet. Typically. Magic. Not always. Unless you've got one of those guns that's just got like a little flag that comes out the end and unrolls and says bang. Yeah, like those who, are... who framed Roger Rabbit, the bullet stops and just goes and has a sandwich or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are quite short range. You have to be very up close and personal with someone. It has to have a very strong spring on the inside if you want to do any damage. <laughs> Ding. Some cards have okay. alternate movement oh, we amounts. We do as well. I imagine that's probably going to be one of the things they're going to try and introduce here because 10 damage, 10 block. Uh, use the option play card to move towards enemies. <laughs> we're just going to block the gun. Don't. We're, are we one, we're Wonder Woman. Yeah, we, we unfortunately do not have the, uh, the, the braces, but... Mm -hmm. I guess we can kind of meta rule the cuffs to be braces. Yeah. Would you like to take this one? Sure. I, I totally zoned out for a second there. I was just staring at the characters bobbing, contemplating life. Cards like Head Smash can be used only when the target is adjacent to a wall or barrier. Note that some cards, like Head Smash, will cause an enemy to face you, so they'll attack you if they survive the attack. Interesting. So it's a bit of a gambit. It's like a, it's like the wave smash in, in Hades kind of situation. It's limited to where you can use it, which mm -hmm. kind of introduces a third resource, actually. We've been thinking of combo and momentum, but this means that position is actually a resource. Definitely, definitely. Especially if you're using cards as a way to manage where you're actually standing, right? Yeah. It's a resource yeah. to level down. Right. Right. Um, slam target into adjacent wall, edge, or object. That doesn't seem to be evident on the card that it has an adjacency kind of thing um, because the symbols here are target will turn to face attacker as well as end combo. Oh, it just consumes your current combo. Mm -hmm. Curious. Oh, he turned to take that attack. Curious. Can we see their health? We can. Is that the, the black number? 20 it was 20 before yes okay okay cool sometimes you'll have to take a hit any damage done will be taken from your block before your health play the block card now that just automatically plays no targeting any damage done will be taken from your block before your health and the turn and block is not directed which is interesting because we blocked some of the damage from that gunshot Yes. So that any leftover block is usually lost at the end of your turn. Okay. Usually. Okay, so that's kind of barricade stuff we can apparently do. Mm. Some cards like Grapple require you to first select the target, play the card, okay. then select the enemy. Hmm? What? They require you to first select the target. Now play the card and then select the enemy. Let's see what it's going to try and get us to do then. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, my brain is right it has targeting in terms of like after that we have to select the target of where they are going to and then select the destination okay okay now finish the it's fight a using the information you process provide. okay mm -hmm. all right well all right do we have any push kind of stuff we can do because if we can push we can just get the pistol thug out of the arena immediately this says deal eight and push one move forward one tile cannot be counted actually rising knee would do it no is that not a push effect? Is that a move effect on a rising knee? No. One push. Oh, perfect. Well, then there you outie. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's never oh. going to wear thin on me. <laughs> but this moves us out of range, I guess, from them, mm -hmm. which is fine. Okay. So we can see we did get to play one card that turn. Uh, move past the target or move to slam oh. target into an adjacent wall edge or objects. A spin kick. So I guess so all we can, we can do is shift move into move. range. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It wouldn't let us move diagonally. It was only like a rook move. Mm -hmm. It was kind of surprising. Even despite the fact it was move two, we don't even get to move one across and then one up. Right. Right. That's what I was thinking. 
Uh, it looks like just because we're out of resources, we have to end the turn here. Mm -hmm. So maybe there isn't a card limitation. It's just how many resources you have. And it did refill to three as well. So I guess focus is just an energy pump for the turn then. Yeah. Hmm. Can we over... I kind of want to focus to see if we can go over momentum. Let's do it. What is it? Is it saying something? It, we yes. cannot. Oh, we can. We did. Yep. Good. So we get our momentum up right there. Deal 10 and draw two cards. These kind of seem to self-explain themselves. Uh, oh, but that's, that's range much. two. So we can't do that. Mm, so we have to step back and then go in for the kill. Mm -hmm. Eight damage twice it is enough to get the kill too. So if we can get two steps away, then they're donezo. We can step one away, but then we will be two range from them. I think this will work. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh Sorry, can you uh, back up? Oh, I got a sick move I'm about to do. Just stand right there. You're going to love it. Other people are going to love it. Impressive stuff. You've clearly still got it. Did you ever have any doubts? The world moves on, Agent 11. New challenges, new threats. I'm just glad you're up to it. Death's Head Biker Gang. Next, we have the ability okay. to go to. With a network of clandestine clubhouses throughout Northern Europe and thousands of members, the Death's Head Biker Gang have a built in infrastructure for drug and weapon smuggling, trafficking rather, sorry, across borders, and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. Trying to look at the symbol, is that was that like motorcycle parts? I couldn't tell if it was constructed of. It was a it was a cool looking symbol. It, it'd be the back After of the, the jacket. Right, right. It's it's on the. But what is it made of? Okay, we're back in Boss Town. After the biker gang wars of the '90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs. But they're back, with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We've seen a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Put a stop to it. Oh, I love a mission as concise three, as just three stop paragraphs. that from happening. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's exposition and then the command is just say no firmly. That is straight up uh, motorcycle parts. We can see the kind of like uh, the exhausts. Right? Okay. Up there. A homunculus of, of yeah, forgotten yeah, motorcycles. Yeah. To the alleyway. Oh, are we about to see a state? It was just the training ground that was shaped like that. Yep. We can't push people out of a ring here. We can not. Not, not traditionally. Yeah. Uh. Well, actually, no. There's those, there's those out there and those out there, which I imagine would be outside bound. Okay, so there are there there's some tactics that's like, you, hmm. This makes it more like a tactics game, you know, like when you've got a spike pit in a specific place. Mm -hmm. So you you can't just push out of the ring everywhere. There's specific places where you can push out of the ring. That's cool. Okay, Got we're surrounded. Move. Let's just uh, quickly go through the cards that we have access to at the moment, uh, because this is going to be the deck we're playing. I imagine for a large amount of the time. Mhm. Mm Front kick is deal six damage or uh, and push a adjacent target. So mm -hmm. one push to an adjacent target, moving them one tile. Or advance and then deal six damage in one push. So you can do it either oh, way, wow. right? It's it's range one or two of being able to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, it's interesting that it says or there because it's really on the card. The range is there on the card. Mm-hmm. But I imagine okay. there may be things that like, you know, uh, throw, for instance, having range between mm. two and four, but it's not or unless it's like, you know, throw or move away in the other direction. Yeah. And the advance matters because that triggers an, an attack of opportunity, doesn't it? That's that's what the tutorial said, is when you step into their square. I I don't think they attack you in opportunity. I thought it was if you step into their square, you are threatened, and at the end of the round, oh, they will okay, hit that okay. square. Okay, okay. Let's have a quick kick, which is just uh, four damage and one push. Move past the target. So that would be mm. like very literally shift in kind of like a TTRPG. It's called shift here as well. Mm. Uh, move two. Long strike deals six damage up to two tiles away. So that that is long the, strike. That's the long range fist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fist magic. Combo finisher requires three combo in order to do eight. 
time uh, plus two times your combo in damage up to uh, to an enemy up to two okay. tiles away. Right. And but then it, it consumes three of your combo as well. Hmm. Ends combo. And then oh, uh, weird. emergency move. Oh, moves up to two three is the minimum. Yes, three is the minimum to play this. Which oh. I imagine would just deal eight damage if it's going to expend the combo before the card goes off. Right, that's the part that I'm not sure is. Is it is it spinning? Well, we'll see. Soon enough, we'll see. Retain so and do move we on wanna, play. This is the one from disengage? our artifact. Yeah, oh, let's... Oh, that's what that's from. Okay. Let's, let's disengage. Free. We can shift to move directly around this target. Oh, that's Ooh. smart. Or we can move behind this one and then push them forwards into the threatened space of the other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Absolutely. Plus, that puts us in a position to do some head smashing. We Hell just yeah. went through that, lad. Yep. I mean, just straight up ghosted. Which of the ways do we want to try and move them forward? You've got 20 HP. This one's more versatile, so I guess we use quick kick. Quick kick, right? Are we keeping the cards that we don't use? I didn't notice that before. Uh, I don't know. We'll see that at the end of the mm -hmm. turn, I imagine. We can do long strike now, too, to put a little bit more damage online if we'd like. Which I think is good. I think that's a good idea as well. The thug itself is going to do six damage to its attack target. Here's another six, and then they're just four away. Mm -hmm. Should be easy enough. <laughs> I love coffee so much. It is it is after midnight. It is midnight 45. Cheers. My friend, mon frere. Che cheers. Cheers, Rhapsody. Well, very well. Mm. Coffee is... Uh... It's so lovely. I, if if I'm thankful to the the customer service job I had for anything, it is to introducing mm. me to my caffeine addiction. Yeah, thank you for the need for bean juice. I mean, this says retain, I so I imagine that means the others will not. Smart, smart. Okay, so we are a bit incentivized to use our strong cards unless they're overextending our some of our combo or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we should be able to just... Oh, yeah. We've got, like, a quick strike to finish this one off. What's Hammer Fist doing? Would you like to read through the new cards as I hold sure. them up? Sure. Let's do that. Because, like you said, we're going to play through the same deck. My I'm, my mind is already jumping ahead, but we don't need to do that. Oh, you want me to read them? Move two tiles in any direction. I thought you meant, like, like we. You know, the, the <laughs> proverbial we. Would we like to look at the cards? And then we have Hammer Fist. Deal four plus one damage her combo level, similar to the other, but this one is not using any combo or ending it. Mm. In fact, it only needs momentum. So this is closer to what we were thinking before, which is the combo is purely a bonus versus the combo is a requirement. Range one to two and maintains range. That's the same as the long fist. Yes. We stay where we are. We're not advancing. We've seen block previously. Blanc. We've also seen quick, quick strike. strike in the tutorial. And push. Mm -hmm. And push. We're starting to... Honestly, I think we're pretty close to have seen, having seen all the cards in the base deck. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> I'm to go back to the main screen. Uh, Still a quick hit. So yeah, we could just quick strike and end our turn, basically. But how do we get the do most we, we effect out of this? We didn't have a spin move on this one, did we? No, unfortunately. So that would be the uh, small spin symbol would be uh, redirecting them to face us. We have none of that on any of our cards, so... Let's just uh, take our... Excuse me? <gasps> Wrong target! The other one's on the lower HP. Whoop. They moved around. Uh, they shuffled build? on me. Well, maybe we build even more combo and then finish this one? Ooh. Hammer Fist is two range. So, but it's not going to be enough, is it? We can just push them away and then we're not threatened at least. Yeah, we have no other attack, unfortunately. Hmm. Other than Hammer Fist, which we could use. We can go Hammer Fist and then push. And How then that way we're maximum combo. How about we dash huh? over here and then just Hammer Fist to kill the other target? Okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. The sidestep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think is surprising me? Oh. I didn't mm -hmm. notice that there was someone spawning in, actually. Don't we Nor get did I. I don't know if that information was on the screen at the time. Yeah. Maybe it was. I think I think in my head, this game I really like this actually. This I mean we're we're one we're in the middle of the first fight, literally, right? But this game is far more 
grid tactics than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. It actually kind of reminds me of Floppy Knights to where the cards are a, a they make your actions tangible. They're, they're less of the primary game and more of a tool to make it a little bit more random what is available to you and to make it a little bit more clear what kind of actions you have available. But ultimately, the core is a tactics game. It's kind of like an Ortuk or a Fire Emblem or something, right? Yeah, it's interesting because like oftentimes you'll have a tactics game that is using RPG as its base, right? And that's the way yeah. that it's presenting its mechanics and formula and kind of combat to you. Uh, and right. now we're seeing that same thing, but what if you mm -hmm. took the gameplay base and made that deck building instead? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I right. love it. So we have access to- Do we have to... any new moves here or are they the same? Slip is new. Slip is uh, new. It's move around to target and gain a momentum. So if you can oh, play cool. this, it becomes zero cost or move one. Oh, so if you use this to move, you will not gain the momentum back. It's only if you go around a, a target. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're incentivized to do that. And we could do that right here if we wanted to. I mean, we can freely move behind this target. Yeah, exactly. And the, there may be mm -hmm. great reason to do so. We also have quick block, which is six block by itself. Zero momentum on its cost. Counter. Strike as a symbol. Deal 10 damage to incoming attackers. So I imagine Ooh. that is uh, like a trigger condition right we have to get hit yes let's 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 do that to at least experience try that. it mm -hmm. we also have the head smash and the quick kick things we've seen previously let's go for counter we get our counter and our block so we've got like a persistent effect that appears to be showing up here strike deal 10 damage to the incoming attackers so if we quick block do we get a momentum i imagine not but we yeah. don't lose momentum but or rather, not momentum, sorry, combo. It's not really clear to me what is generating combo. Is it only hits? Is Same. It damage? I, okay. I have no clue, unfortunately. All right, so I'm should watching, we, I'm watching. Should we, we just stay it. here without doing anything? See how this resolves? Sure. Sure. And we take no damage, and we do damage back. Mm -hmm. And then we get a bit more surrounded. Interesting. Interesting. We also I did suspect... get combo on that re-hit. Oh really? Oh nice. Okay, so combo is I think it's said in the tutorial and I'm feeling I'm feeling silly for not retaining it, but I'm suspecting that cards that say they generate combo or hits generate combo. But like generating energy with the bloodletting card is not gonna like and step probably gives us no combo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cards with seems red quite likely. on them. Yes, cards that feature an enemy rather, sir. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. Okay, so we can we can move around the target a little bit, but can we not push one to, of them behind to hit the other one. Push. Yeah, exactly. We'd want to go behind in order to do that push uh, oh, on no, we either can... side. Oh, right. You're right. No, no, no. We we can do it. We there's a move there. If you pull up the <gasps> slip. Oh, right. Yes, this one. Oh, this one. Right to the to that side. Yeah, and then we push this unit can we do so without them killing the other one is the question or do we have a push that does no damage mm. I, I think we're i think we're front kicking this target and they're dying but it was a good idea <laughs> it, it was and it will be more relevant as we go through the future unfortunately that target is going to be too dead <laughs> to hit the other target one uh, thing that i'm trying to to reason about and this is in many ways, I think when I play games like this now, I put the wagon before the horse or whatever because I have so many preconceived notions. But one thing that I'm trying to figure out is what are, what are the constraints? Like, are we, what is encouraging us to maximize our actions per turn? And I think the answer is going to be enemy density. Yes. I think in future fights, there's going to be so many enemies that if we're not using every bit of momentum every turn, we just can't keep up. Because I... right now it feels like we can just sit and wait and then counter attack. Yeah, it, it definitely seems like they're taking you know, it easy on us. We also do have another limiting factor, which is oh. completing the level within two turns appears to be an additional objective that would give us money. Okay, nice. Ooh, I like I like games in a game. I really, really like choose your own difficulty kind of, or choose your own play style kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. so that's delightful. Well, we, uh, we, we have the ability to, to just finish this guy off with a... Oh, excuse me, head smash? Adjacent valid wall or target. There is no such. Uh-oh. Well, can we fix this? We shift to the side. We push them to the wall. But head smash is a one range, isn't it? Oh, but we have emergency move. Do you have to move away to use emergency move? 
We can just move up to two tiles with it. But it's removed. Is that trash can permanent or is that just a discard? So the emergency move itself says gain an emergency move at the start of each fight. So I imagine it will come back. But the trash can is, yeah, removed from this combat on play. Okay, so that's the that's an exhaust effect. Yes. Got it. We should do the we should do that play though. It's pretty sweet. Shift, push, smash. So we're shifting to here. Oh Wait. can we Yeah, like can we not get beside them? Well, we would use the shift to here, emergency move to get there, push moves up. And then we have one left over and head smash, but we're one range away. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking we could shift beside them, but but that would not be again we're learning that we can't make like diagonal moves like that. Mm -hmm. So no, oh, well. I'm just gonna throw out some damage on the target then. Yeah. Oh. We still have <laughs> Well that's brutal. Right there. We still have Yep. Okay. I was looking to see if the objective for the money was dynamic. And it was. Mm -hmm. It wasn't two turns from the beginning of the fight. It was two turns from our, our current position. You can watch a replay? Can you click it. Of course. We have to. It's now very like much the John Wick hex kind of vibe here. It's amazing. So I don't actually have audio. So for me, this is like there's the Matrix theme playing in the background, you know? It's not too far as, from that. As silhouette Keanu Reeves runs around and deletes these agents. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> oh, it seems so imbalanced when we're taking three moves to each of theirs. It really is. We're like, we're fully Super Saiyan. And these fools are citizens. Oh, we have oh, the ability the to draft. take a reward there. I'm just going to quickly turn anti-aliasing off because it's been lagging a little on my end. Okay. Okay, uh, we have the ability to take another dash, move two tiles in a direction, counter, mm -hmm. which we've seen previously as well, and then a new card, Nerve Strike. Nerve Strike. Deal four damage and apply minus two damage modifier to the target. Does not trigger auto attack, and my question is, is that damage modifier permanent? Is this a disarm, or is it a piercing whale? Mm. I mean, there's only I one way to find out, it. right? Yeah, we, we, ha we have to learn. We actually do get to choose new parts here as well, uh, and they're exclusive from mm. one another. We have the alleyway again, and then we have a restroom. We can also see information <laughs> directly above your head, demonstrating uh, that it is a mission fight, the location for it, the amount of targets you'll fight, and the rewards you can get from it. Although they are both the same entirely. They're the same, but there is a key difference, right? Not only do they unlock different paths afterwards, it looks like, because mm. We can't get to the restroom from the alleyway. Only the restroom gives us both options. Yep. Unless I'm misreading this map. No, the other thing is, correct. some decks might benefit from smaller rooms since it is ultimately a tactics game, right? If you're doing lots of push against the wall and smash, then you want to be in the in the restroom. Mm -hmm. I think we should go restroom anyway because it gives us all the options, right? Yep. And also and then variety. it'll be a tighter space for the disarm and variety, yeah. Ooh, different colored okay. enemies. So we're getting some information from that, I imagine, as well. And somebody has a, a, a tool. <laughs> this is what, what what happens when one is on alt directly next to the Windows key. <laughs> right. Don't do this. So we got a biker I here. A, Sorry? I have this cool feature. This is so sidebar. I'm, I'm trying to limit my tangents, but it's very difficult for me. I'm like, tangent is my middle name. I have a feature for my keyboard, which disables the Windows key when I'm playing a game. It's really lovely. That's an absolute it just turns godsend. It off. I know. Who wants that key anyway? What do you do? It kind of just advertises saying? Windows two times on my keyboard for me, basically. I guess so. Hey, did you know that you're running a Windows machine? Oh, oh thank no you. No way. Really? I had forgotten. <laughs> uh, we have the biker who is going to kick up to two tiles away, does mm. five damage, and has one push as well. Okay, so enemies can push us, which means their attack order is important in that instance because this may push mm. us into the realm of another attack hitting us. Or push us out. We'll be instant killed too. And then we have a goon, a biker thug armed with a tire iron, strikes for six damage and any damage, sorry, if any damage is unblocked, add an injury card to the target. Range one to two. Okay, statuses. Okay, nice. They, and they're, the enemies are leveling up. 
They've got range now. They've got kind of multiple actions. Mm -hmm. The tire iron is very menacing. I do not want to be in a battle with that. Yeah, I, I'd really like to try and get one of them to hit the other with a tire iron because it does say add an injury <laughs> card to the target, not to right, what is you, it? Yeah. right? So can I give them an injury card and they skip a turn for some reason? That's a good point. And what do you see in this corner tile that has the, like, what looks like maybe a sink? I believe that's is just the them phasing out so that we can see the environment. But can we can we be there? Can we put an enemy on it? Can, I, like, can we move to it? I don't know. It yeah. would probably be considered an obstacle that we can hit people into. But I okay. wonder if there are, you know, environmental obstacles. Like, a, a, an example comes to mind of a dumpster just because we were in a alleyway. But <laughs> I don't think it was yeah. interactable in that way there. But, like, the idea of I hit you next to the dumpster and then I'm going to mm. hit your head on the dumpster and then close the door on it kind of situation. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Well, I don't see a way immediately to push one into the range of the other on this turn. We Doesn't just simply lack the move for it, right? But we can start to get into position to kind of pull them together. Like, if we move towards either the wall behind us or close the difference with a with a front kick, and then step to the side, that mm -hmm. would work well. Yeah, so I like think that front could be kick, good. nerve strike, step. So I'm thinking that the goon here is probably just going to rotate if we end up over here, but this one's going to try and close the gap, which will give us more opportunities. Kind of opens up the middle of the map. Whereas if we try and do it over okay. here, we have to get down here and then like we may hem ourselves in. Confusing. Yeah. So let's start with a front kick moving us forward here. Smash. Cool, cool. And then just do try and shift slam? inside. We don't. Unfortunately not. We should do it. Let's throw a nerve strike in there. Sure. So this would be a let's strike for permanent. six damage. It's now showing it's for two four. Uh, for four. What's the two? Is that their damage modified number? I can't hover over it to get any information. Oh no, that's the order in which they're going to attack. Right, 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 right. That's off to the side there, thank you. Um, I had already forgotten the rules. Move around a target to gain momentum and yeah, nothing else we can really do. It's just block for no Here reason. We remain. Oh, they're attacking their friend um, already. Yeah, they don't That's... need our help. So they they have to format and attack each turn, even if they don't have a valid target mm. for it. And because they want that to be their facing, they just... Mm, you can bait them. Do it anyway. So there's some good AI manipulation here to where even without moving the enemy, you can encourage them to target each other. Mm -hmm. But I mean, maybe maybe they're thinking for for us to be targeting our friend... Oh, they're just going to kill him. You could literally just in turn here. Mm hmm Could do. Which is so savage. But could we do. can just move up here and then start hitting the other biker because his response is going to be killing the goon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so because... Wait, four enemies in this fight as well? Okay. So let's keep the emergency move if we can. Agreed. We've got Agreed. three we can hold. So we can use the dash to get up here directly next to the biker. And Perfect. then any attacks that don't push them... Which we have too. So that's great. Perfect. Dash, quick strike, hammer fist. I mean, it's all it's all coming up tiki. I can't wait to see the replay of this. I'm actually really hyped I about that feature. I don't know when I started saying that, but what an what an egotistical phrase. Why did he not hit his friend? Huh. That's a great point well made. Kick up to two tiles away, does five damage and one push. And this one was supposed to go first, so it's not like the other one moved. What are we missing? Did I rotate them at all with my actions? N one plus four no, retains because, range. Because we didn't get hit. If we rotated them, then they would have hit us. Mm. Good point. What are we missing about that then? They got too wise. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but something something wicked happened there, right? Something definitely happened. Mm -hmm. So I imagine if this person's going to push us, that's going to be external to the damage. So even if we just straight up defended, they would still kick us out of the door, which I imagine is just an instant mm -hmm. loss as well. I think so. I think that I think this this kills the player character. Let's rotate around you. 
Hmm. That may have been daft. We just have the ability to knock targets down right now. But it doesn't really matter much, right? Like we're we're very far ahead in this fight. And I'm not yes. seeing where the other enemies are spawning in. Oh, maybe we have to kill some enemies before they spawn. Okay, so there's a bit of a gotta go fast happening here. Yeah, that definitely seems to be in the realm of it. Okay. Whoa, okay. apparently well, we could be cooked, like straight up pushed out here? No. They're gonna push us through the wall? No. Kind of curious They're to see them do it. They're gonna push us into the wall. Right? I almost want to see. Like, will we take damage? What What exactly happens here? I think we should set the goal of killing both of them on this turn, because I think we can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so shift, push. We have two attacks in hand. The combo finisher and the long strike. Nothing else in hand does damage. So those have to be used mutually exclusively if we want both of mm. them to die. Because letting one of them kill the other implies that one of them lives to the end of the turn. Mm. So we should in, we should use the combo finisher first so that we can start building combo. Advances ends combo. And this advances us, which lets us use the other move. So it's perfect. Mm -hmm. We could even just use a push here. Yeah, let's You're do that. Spicy. Get out of here. Bye. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> push through a door. Oh no! We see our spawning <laughs> locations now. It must be nice. after you remove an enemy. Okay. So, so how do we set ourselves we get, best up? We can block one. We can shift into the one space. Sure, but defeating four enemies is the, uh, our complete condition. This is good science, though. This is good science. Does it count as defeating an enemy to block them, or perhaps will more spawn? Uh, we... Oh, yeah, the shift will get us to this one, so that's fine. Let's mm -hmm. do that. That's what I want to know, is like, will it... Yeah, see, we're going to get another enemy now. So mm -hmm. it just reduced the... Honestly, it's probably the wrong play because having two enemies gives us more options for, for how to fight. But now we know it'll keep spawning. Definitely true. Okay, this one has 20 HP as well. Is defeat four enemies our primary objective? I believe so. So there's always going to be at least four. It's just a question of when they're spawning, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Oh, gosh. How do we do this in two turns? I'm not certain we will be able to anymore. Mm -hmm. Don't think we have enough movement to push this person out the door this turn or anything like that, but maybe we can try and start setting up for it. We can at least dash up to in position for where the new one's going to spawn, like right at the door, mm -hmm. so that we're close, and then get, you know, five damage online. Did you mean to go two there? Yeah. W was, was I supposed to go less than two? Oh! We were on the wall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We're all no, the way no, 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 no. You, 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 did, you did perfect. You did perfect. I was like, why aren't we on the wall? Because we were three away. Because I can't count. Okay. I think maybe so that we still get value Let's this just turn. Use it. Yeah, we just pop the emergency move to move over here. Hit you with Agreed. a nerve strike. And then just also throw oh, out a... Pay attention last time to see if the nerve strike stuck. Well, I'll watch this time. Good point. Then hit you with a hammer fist too. Right. This is also going to be spawning looking in our direction. So if this target now turns around to look up in this direction, maybe we have the ability to just move out and let them hit each other. And just and just connect the dots. Okay, Pierce? the new one goes first. Yep. But it looks like a regular fighter. Does it have range? Uh, Short range punch deals eight damage. So no, it's not going to be able to hit it unless we end up uh, going through the other side. However, the biker, three damage. Previously five, it does persist. That's cool. That's cool. We might be able to still win this turn with like some kind of counter shenanigans at the end or something. Oh gosh, head smash. Mm. That's really good because I mean, there's 14 damage right there. We can get it higher. Dark will turn to face attacker. Yeah, we do have the ability to do that. Move a tile in any direction at six block. Okay, so unfortunately we don't have the ability to get behind this biker and then just front kick them to go up here next to the thug and then have them just mm, duke it out. That would be nice. Yeah. Does does this this biker have range? The maroon biker or a uh, whatever deep brick. This one is okay. kicking up to two tiles away. This one is just doing the short range. So yeah, the, the biker is going to hit the other one at the absolute least for us. Um, okay. 
So we should save step. Probably like a, a good way to think about things like this in my mind is what ultimately will we, or rather which position ultimately we, we want to be in. Do we, where do we want to end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with the incoming yeah. damage being uh, 11, right? Yeah, 11 total. Um, mm. We can counter, but then we will be taking, then we're taking three damage. on board. Yeah. I feel like this is just damage the, the one on the wall since we have the head smash and like build up some combo and then step out. It's just a question of who we who we want to put some combo damage on. I th we, we probably want the maroon one almost dead. The the biker in the up here. What color is that? No clue. It's a deep reddish. It's something. It's it's yeah. dried blood. It's the color of dried blood. It is scab. We'll call him scab. Let's let's give him more coloration by hitting him. <laughs> Are we head smash uh, too? Yeah, but maybe we do that on the other target because it looks like if no yeah, way we can't do it on on this one because they have to be against a wall right yes adjacent to an well they just have to be adjacent to a wall and all of them are okay 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 so that would that would work but then we're denying ourselves a little kick damage and we're wasting damage i guess yeah and i'm curious to see if we get another turn after this god it's brutal man like... <laughs> good lord it's All like right. Ape Out. Did you ever see that game? I did. I did. Presentationally beautiful. It does do the move, and they did move forward as well. So I don't know what okay. happened with the first resolution previous. Something weird. Yeah. Something funky right. went on there. Complete the level within six turns. I don't even know what we do with money. I mean, presumably there's some kind of merchant, ultimately. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's one of the tiles will come up against in the future. But other than that, I mean, just lay down three damage against each of them. We get the win. So we have yeah. only one you can hit. Push one out. Oh, one hit available, and then yeah, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Push mm. out of here. You will <laughs> go into the hallway. I love how it just kills them to leave <laughs> yeah. the bathroom. They seem almost complicit. Not the like they intentionally ragdoll. As soon as you push <laughs> yeah. them, they're like, okay. Oh. It's very well acted. I was gonna say it's no I, I can't i can't i can't throw shade at specific countries there are some soccer players who are very good at this move mm -hmm. taking I've a dive seen this move in yeah. world cup games the in one the world cup i watched uh australia got eliminated after uh what was nationally referred to as a tragic dive from another team a tragic dive. <laughs> oh, man. But Australia is never really like a finals contender. It's kind of it's kind of like the US. We've got like the best goalie in the world, but then nothing else. Yeah, it, it, it is oh, very much great just... players. Like, I love Clint Dempsey, but most of our best athletes, I think, are just playing other games. It's just soccer is not as big here as it is in other countries. Yeah, definitely. It, like, ours is very much more in the realm of like rugby... Rugby. Mm. One of my cricket. friends in college played one of the Australian university rugby teams, and they were like, every year we just get defeated, and it's like a rout. It's not even close. It's just totally destroyed. Yeah. It's it's very much Australia and New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Full stop. England sometimes full stop still. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've got Quick Strike we've seen previously. Panic Dash, discard mm. a random card. Move up to three tiles. Interesting. Very interesting. So you want to use that to try and get away from things at the end because it may disrupt your plans otherwise. Uh, but it costs zero momentum, so it's a good get out of dodge situation. See, and my brain wants to take more combo cards, but mm -hmm. there is a limit to where if you have too much density of combo cards, then you know a lot of times you're drawing them and you can't play them because you don't have enough combo. But it's not that hard to build two combo, right? Yeah, it's not that hard to build a combo. We have exactly one combo finisher in the deck. Yeah. Uh, although, yeah. do we have? Yeah, we have another card that ends combo. I still don't know what mm -hmm. end combo means. Does that mean that it will right. just straight up take up all of the remaining combo that you have? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think yes, but we will need to try it. Uh, Here's one consideration that I had too after that game, which is that at least with the current spawns, 
I don't love Nerve Strike. Mm -hmm. And the reason is you're killing enemies so quickly and you're avoiding their hits. So reducing their damage is not as effective as it is in a game like Slay the Spire. And it might cost you damage on their friend. You sometimes want them to do full damage, but I'm hoping that like there'll be a boss fight where we see it be really effective. Exactly, right? We don't know whether they're gonna be boss fights, elite fights, any kind of like yeah. system like that. I will posit here that because mm -hmm. our deck has only one combo casting card, but also has no way without positioning ourselves first to push a target mm -hmm. to the left, left spin kick is a pretty good option here. Okay, let's take it. So having kind of like unique oh. access to a bunch of different tools gives you the ability to make those kind of like broader plans in that way. Restore health, we increase maximum health, or oh. remove long-term injuries. Oh, okay. It's not it's not just healing. We mm -hmm. can okay. Oh well, we should options. check that out. And then Jim is gain oh, new up. abilities, upgrade existing abilities, or remove cards. No, we're going to the gym. Oh, of course. We're working out. Which means we have out. to go to the restroom prior. Another Lou fight. It's, it was a rough weekend for us, I guess. Mm -hmm. A lot of restroom That's, fights. It's going to be a rougher <laughs> weekend for... Ooh, okay, four of them start out on the field here. Now now it's a fight in tight spaces. Mm -hmm. This is when the game starts. Okay. Waiting for That's target. That's a lot of guns. What does that mean? Strike that one, must have been two. what happened last time. It has to be, right? But it says waiting for target, but it's range one to two. So why, why? does it not... Yeah. Yeah. There's there's some mechanic here that we're that we're misunderstanding. Is it like does it need does it need to be able to target us at least initially? Is that the deal? Maybe that's the deal. Maybe maybe they need to they need to have us as a valid target at least at one point. And then they'll keep attacking their friend. Cuz right now we're not a valid target. That would make sense, right? Because the mm -hmm. previous situation was also them not having a valid target or at least not having us as a valid target. Um, yeah. And maybe they just decided not to commit the action as a result of that. It also appears yeah. that the numbers above their head, the, the indication of the turn order, shows whether mm. or not they're going to attack. Because we can see the only one that's not mm. going to attack right now is gray. Is gray. Mm. Nice. Okay. So this has got range things. one to two. If there's any way of moving the pistol thug to our position, that would be great. But I don't think there like are. A, pool. a grapple. Mm -hmm. Grapple would be nice. Unfortunately, I don't think that uh, grapple is in our deck. Yeah, that was a tutorial thing, huh? Yep. Yeah. So it's feeling to me, well, you know, if we block encounter, we're blocking tw tw 18 damage, but the incoming is currently 26. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to move like one of them at least? Oh, we can we can deal with this. We can yeah. deal with this. How so? We, we, um, we move one tile forward and then we block encounter. Ah, right. Counter, strike, strike deals 10 damage to incoming attackers. I wonder if this ranged attack is not going to be considered will a strike in any way. And won't get countered, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but it'll that's... still be enough block. We won't take any damage and, and we can get in, you know, a bit of a bit of damage and retaliation and we'll learn. That's, that's good tech. I like that. Okay, so if we're doing that, this is six this is ten our only move right now is ship wait hang on we have the the quick block oh, as yeah, well quick block too. so quick block oh, wow. counter if we want to take two damage we can save an energy and use no wait actually we nerve strike you lowering two damage the and then we do the moves yeah i didn't i didn't see that we had the quick block and this keeps us from having to move this is brilliant what do you mean keeps us from wait we still have to move down here right because this one's going to be attacking as well well, so I one. didn't see the quick block. And quick block is free. And mm -hmm. counter and block both get block. So this is 24 block. And we just nerve struck one? Damn, yeah, we have 24. It's perfect. Although... We just stand still. Oh, wait, if any damage is unblocked, then yeah, there, there will be no damage unblocked. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Okay. It's a it's a it's a one range counter. Yeah, because we didn't counter the tire iron guy. So strike is not the trigger condition, but it is the range. The move, it's the move. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, here's also another good example. 
Let's see if the uh, second biker as well as the second gunman are not going to try and take an action this turn. And they won't. There you Both go. Both out. So, so they yeah. need to be able to... They need to be able to... That's what it means waiting for target. They need to be able to target us at least once. Mm -hmm. Hey, if we left spin kick, does it kick them to the right or from the right? Uh, it pushes them push to, to the left. left. So that would push you here, I imagine. Okay. I was going to see if you could get any value out of pushing enemies together. Mm, I, I imagine you know. they would have introduced that in the tutorial, but uh, right. I don't I don't know. Yeah. One thing we could try and do would be something like moving up here and then left spin kicking the goon so that they target the other goon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty low value turn if that's all we're doing though. We... We want to use this head smash. I would say that's... In terms of just pure density, right? That's kind of our glass knife in the hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to... Oh, but get a five combo is our money reward this time. So if we use that, we're probably not getting to a five combo. Mm, same with left spin whereas, kick then. Whereas this turn, if we like, you know, dash, push, front kick or whatever, then, and front <laughs> kick closes range. Mm -hmm. How do we use that effectively then? Dash, push, front kick, dash, push, front, front kick. So we can use the front kick as kind of like a dash initially if we want to use that to close distance. And then we could like, so front kick our way over to this goon and then push this goon backwards and then dash in the other direction. We'd be out of range of everyone's attacks. It's just that's also yeah. very ineffectual in terms of dealing damage. But that's okay because we don't have to be fast this time. We're only playing into our our, our money conditions, right? Right! Yes, no, you're 100% correct. And so also, we can just it doesn't play seem, conservative. with defeat four enemies, it doesn't seem like mm. any more enemies are going to be spawning. Yeah, yep. All right, so, so let's all good. front kick our way over here. That's a smart line. I so, kind of dig this. You know, when it, when we first saw the deck, I was like, too many cards. It's gonna be it's gonna be card overload. But I've mm -hmm. not found it to be much cognitive overload actually, because because they 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 win like designer principle number one, which is have your actions be tangible. And like I look at front kick and I have an idea what it's gonna do. Mm -hmm. Like there's some connection. It's not called flargle bag. You know, I'm not using whiz bang. Like it's a front kick. I know what it's going to do. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like the uh, my initial read of the symbols on the sides of the cards was like, this is information mm -hmm. overload. These could be keywords. Yes. But yes. they're really easy to scan after you just know them. Um, yeah. The, the, there is one thing I'll say about, um, uh, about the kind of like uh, heterogeneity of the base deck, mm. right? Mm. And I think it's because in these circumstances, you really, really, really need to have a bunch of actions that do different things so that you have the ability to make interesting plays. Because like if you had yes. four defense That's and true. four base strikes in this deck, it would not be tenable as a tactics. It's a tactics game at its core. So you've got you've to have different options. 100% agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess well, I block. But we do have the ability to just left spin kick this guy straight there. And we do, like, we only have to get to five combo. Wait, can we get to five combo? This turn? Mm, no, no, we don't have the right moves, do we? Unless Head Smash gives you a combo and then at the end of it takes it all away, at what point is the combo allocated? Yeah. Um, but you know what? We've got enough enemies that I feel confident that you could do this. You could left spin kick right here and then step forward and we would be fine. Could we, we step? Move. Oh, wait, yeah, no, we can step forward because this is not using energy. Mm -hmm. We'll still have momentum. Perfect. And we could see if it would let us head smash. We don't have to use it, but we could see if it lets us head smash here. Oh, we got the five combo. It gave us combo. You don't spin the combo unless it says finish combo. It's just a minimum. We were we were right. But why it did does it not consume two combo? You have to have two combo to active. That makes the other card that has combo as a co well, cost uh, much right. more obvious. Like you're not going to remove that combo and then deal your combo in damage. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. That 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 sands an edge off the design that I was like, <laughs> a little about. confused by. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Well, I mean, so we got our objective. We could think, just try and head smash someone then. I think we can head smash this person because I think the sink is an edge. Oh, I guess it's not. Can you push them in? No, it, it will be. We can. 
do that. We could try and push them into it and see if that does any damage. I think Head Smash here, it will lock us out of the ability to play the combo finisher upcoming. And also mm. this person has very little HP. They've only got two left, but they're doing mm. six damage. So maybe we just want to leave them there and see what the push would do. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? I think we found out what the push will do. <laughs> <laughs> okay so well, that's so interesting because certain... i think i think the thing that i noticed previously was when we front kicked the enemy that is standing where oh, we currently good. are which is a move that does have a push right we close mm -hmm, the gap with mm -hmm. an advance but it also pushed them that card by base does six damage but they took 10 mm. which means negative four of that has to have been applied by pushing into a bump Mm -hmm. So now we need to see if that'll work if we hit an enemy into an enemy. But that was that was that pure damage that killed them, or what, did we consider pushing them out of bounds? Like are the are the checkered box tiles like the sink and the and the toilet considered out of bounds tiles? I've I've been assuming the entire time that they're objects that are being removed they're for the sake obstacles. of visual clarity. But yeah, I you know, I, I know as much about this game as you do, T. <laughs> Clearly, it was good. We know that. We pushing into the into the sink is stonk, stonks. It stonks out of control, don't it? Just mm, same range. Mm. We do not appear to have a push in this hand, so we can't test the bump here. Mm -hmm. But we can just long strike this fool. The oh, so you can't long strike through someone. It looks like mm. that's good to know. My range is... will not allow that. My thinking is you long strike the front one, we step up, we combo finish the other, and then we just slip out of the way. Easy peasy. Call that a turn. One enemy check. left. Okay, okay. I like it. However, mm. this target has six HP. Mm -hmm. So if we can get this pistol thug to do an attack against them, we can rely dead. on them doing that damage. And if we slip, we can slip here, then step oh, one space up. up and start attacking the goon with high HP. And because we've slipped here, this pistol thug will start firing. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. That's a, that's a slick move. Okay. It has slip. an attack target. It's now... So that's another thing I really wanted to confirm. Can we get them mm -hmm. to start attacking as a result? This pistol thug is no longer going to fire. They're waiting for a target. So... Wait a second. I think that they're just dying. I think they're not. I think they're not firing because they're dead. But it says, where? Hmm. Hmm. So it, wait. Okay. So step. Let's let's see. Let's see if their target goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for target. Huh. Interesting. Uh, is it because? Why? Mm, are like guns special is shoot a special move it couldn't have been in the tutorial it was used to demonstrate that it will hit their uh allies huh. there is some kind of game spiracy that's happening here because otherwise i can't make heads or tails of this mm, something's going on luckily we can kill this bull definitely it's just Quick strike you and then <laughs> what are we, what are remove we you from life. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It really seems like that attack would have been valid. Shoot, ranged attack that deals 10 damage. Yeah, it's ranged. It's within range. I don't know. Maybe like... Maybe you need to be in the tutorial when we ended our turn. Were we still? No, because we've seen enemies attack each other after we move out of targeting range. Mm -hmm. The melee and the long kick have done that. So maybe you can't discover an attack, right? And it has to be either you're there or you've introduced a target into their uh field of view mm. so do we have enough pushes here to test that quick kick will push we can step one so we could step over emergency move up and then the 
Oh, no, because then we would have to close the gap in order to use another push as well. Mm. Hmm. I mean, we can just push this enemy out of the arena and start closing this. I mean, we'll have other fights to continue doing things like this. So let's let's just... Out. <laughs> out of bounds. I think you're onto something there, though. I think you're onto something. I think that um, it's the action of leaving their attack range that turns it off. I think that there was something said like any target going into their targeting range will activate, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing a lot is we're like pushing an enemy in front of them not stepping in and then stepping back out yeah okay okay i mean that would simplify the edges of of mm -hmm. how to get those kind of counter attacks so i guess i appreciate it in that fashion uh we also have the ability to quick kick here for those four damage and one push and we can see how much damage it does that'll give us an assessment hey an assessment. yeah so it did four and then the four was also a uh, object a boundary so the next nice. thing to see is whether or not both targets will take four. Oh, <laughs> perfect drag doll. Yeah. GG. GG. Too. I'm surprised by like half of my brain is like, oh, this is simpler than I thought it was. You know, there's not so much cognitive overhead as I thought in the base deck. And half of my brain is like, how the heck does the targeting system work? Mm -hmm. Cause it, it seems like it would be so simple, right? Enemy point gun get get shot with bullet if in point gun range but we'll see in the next fight i think that that's the thing that i'm going to be looking for and trying to science is i think you're right i think it's they if they're targeting you at the beginning of their turn they'll continue targeting or if you introduce something and it stays in their targeting range they'll continue targeting mm -hmm. hell yeah we have rewards to accept here. There is the block stun dart. Apply six That's damage. That's a cool looking move. <laughs> Hell yeah. Usually there's Eight the range? entire body of, of the main character, but here it's just a dart. We just stun dart. Uh, I just kind of want it. Oh, deals so a stun a cool if move, any damage is unblocked. Minimum range two. Mm, enemies can block. Push enemies one tile in opposite directions and deal four damage. So you can just. Ooh. Okay, what's uh what tech piece do we want? Because I think it's it's got to be stun dart or separate here, right? I. I mean, so I well. love the tactical consideration of separate, but I also just love stun dart. Like just get some CC online. Seems sure. fun. We may even be able to see what an upgrade to stun dart would do. So here's the gym. We've got four cards on offer, another counter, another quick block, another quick strike, another quick kick. Mm -hmm. The ability to upgrade cards and the ability to remove cards. Is the upgrade free? No, no. No, they and each of them cost. independently has a different cost for their upgrade. Whoa. Like, what's the push upgrade? Six damage as well. Cute. That's cute. Makes it also do damage. Why is it so much more expensive than everything else? Probably because it's free, right? So six free damage is pretty pretty useful. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at this deck, and I'm like, these cheapest upgrades, you could probably just spam them, and you'd be pretty happy. Just spend every dollar that you have on some of the cheapest upgrades. Get some extra damage. Get some extra front load. Mm -hmm. This makes step free. That yep. only costs 20. Only costs 20. That's pretty nice. I wonder if you can upgrade multiple cards here. Whoa, Hammer Fist, 120. What the heck does it do? Uh, <laughs> well, see, more, more than doubles the well, it exactly doubles the damage. In fact, a lot of damage. Let's let's do your plan of uh, upgrading a bunch of the smaller cards. Let's okay. Get step. Okay, so you can the limiting factor is only your money. Got it. Uh, but did it increase the cost of the other upgrades right there? It seems like it did. Yeah. In fact, it seems like they doubled. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so so we can't just spam low cost upgrades because the game, the more upgraded your deck is, the more cost there is to upgrades. Okay, cute. It's I still either really that like the quick it's, strike upgrade. It's either that or consecutive upgrades in the same store increase the price. True, true, true. It might just be yeah. That's a good point. Um, long strike goes up to uh, three more damage, fifty percent more damage on it. Slip for zero cost, and it gains momentum still, so you can use it as an mm -hmm. energy pump. 
Although we're not really like leaving like most of our turns, the cards yeah. left in hand we didn't want to cast. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't feel like we're leaving a ton of value on the table. Quick block doubles its block. Did you see the quick strike? It go I think it goes from six to fourteen damage, or eight to fourteen. Mm -hmm. It's a that's pretty huge upgrade for every enemy we've seen. However. Yeah. We also do Blocks. have these other cards out here. There is a world where we could take counter and quick block mm. and try and just tank up. And I I wouldn't mind that either. Honestly, as long as we're consistent in our selections, we're probably going to be okay. Let's do it. Do we still have? We only have 15, so 15 we're not doing anything. It's not going to be doing anything. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the parking. Tanky. Now we have motorcycles to push the enemy into. Lovely. Ooh, who are you, friend? Is that a welding torch? Okay. Welder? Okay, okay, buddy. Charges up to three tiles, deals 10 damage, has welding gear, so it gains 12 block at the start of each turn. Mm. And it's okay, heavy, so it cannot be down. Them. Okay. Yeah, interesting. You know what? I think that we're going to feel good about the, the block and counter selection with the stun dart because we're going to want to get hit but not die. And so CC will feel good. Mm -hmm. All right. How do we uh, how do we start dealing with this turn? Security also in you, uh, enemy. Bar security with the mean push. Pushes the target one tile. Deals four damage. Auto attack. Will attack once per turn. So it's waiting for a target, but it will auto attack? <laughs> huh? Wait a second. If it will push one per turn and it's the second attacker, this is going to charge three tiles if it has an attack target, which actually it won't at the time. So this security mm. will push the pistol thug into the other security, which will push it forward. Wait, but it'll charge three tiles to hit its friend, except that it might not because we're going to move out of its targeting range. Mm-hmm. We could you start with a head smash. Into the motorcycle? Uh, this doesn't move them. It just changes their orientation. Yeah, but they have to be adjacent to a wall. Oh, yeah. I, I think any adjacency for them will work. Yeah, both of these are going to... Oh, curious. A wall or obstacle. Okay, I wasn't reading the whole card. I was like, why is that counting as a wall? It's not. <laughs> yeah, I do that one often. Uh, yeah, you know what? Boom. Start doing some punch. Oh. Once per turn. So there are turns and rounds, and anytime we cast is a turn? <laughs> but um, this one didn't attack. Or does it just mean after every action it's going to check to see? That may be it. Wait, but this says waiting for target will auto attack. This one says waiting for target. Because it's done its auto attack. I think I think all of our, since the button says end turn, I think our turn's not over. When it says auto attack will happen once per turn, I think it's saying at some point during the turn, during the turn, it'll right. do this move. Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, we don't have the ability to block all of the damage incoming from the welder, so we just wouldn't really want them to be involved. Got no counter. Spin kick, butt kick. We we could, I mean, we can close. Oh, but do we have enough combo? Counter we think doesn't generate combo until it actually counters. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say that we could front kick, counter, left spin kick, and then step. I don't think it's going to give us the combo to do so. Mm -hmm. But we can still do the step step thing. And so actually, I think that that move is still good. Moving towards the welder gives us a chance to step out of the way. And we won't be threatened by any attacks. I don't so, see a good way for us to actually safely counter here. Because the incoming damage is just too high. Yeah. yeah. So that would be the front kick there and then step out? Front kick. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's just about all that I see. Just trying to see if there was any way to do that damage against the target that isn't already blocked. Right, right. 
Oh, right, because they had the block, so we didn't actually even do any damage. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, my. So nobody attacked, which uh -huh. was expected. But we are starting to get hemmed in here, so we should be pretty concerned about that. We have slip, so we have the ability to move around to target, but if we move here, we will immediately be pushed and dealt for damage, so we will take eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless we have already played the quick block. Mm. We'll take two That's in that circumstance. That's not terrible. Yeah. Uh, but then how are we moving there and what are we doing afterwards? It's like... Combo finisher is... Probably not going to be up this turn, but it may be in a world where we slip around this target, right, to get here mm -hmm. and then go for a quick kick here. We get one combo from the quick kick. And then if we also get another combo when it from bumps into, into an enemy. Friend. Yeah, exactly. Let's try. Let's learn. I mean, it's a great position anyway, so we're not losing anything there. Ooh, ding -ding. did they both take damage? Yep, 26. they both took four. And we, but we only gained one combo. Okay. And we didn't get combo from the slip. Oh, well. But the nerve strike will also give us combo. Does, does block, block is no combo, right? We already scienced that. Hmm. No combo. I mean, we can cast it. There's no reason not to here. We're not retaining it in hand. So I guess we just nerve strike the target we have the ability to and then end turn. This is what I was worried about. All right. Ooh. But we have shifts. We're cool. We can we can escape. <laughs> Lie. <it>. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to see if this works. Go there. Push. push into range. Push then push into the push. wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I think that turn did two things simultaneously. First, it basically cleared up all of my misconceptions and confusions around how the enemy targeting works. And second, it was awesome because now we know that we can play Rube Goldberg machine with our foes. So mm -hmm. that's great. Also looks like this security will try and attack here, has an attack target. So that push mm -hmm. worked in terms mm -hmm. of uh, giving it a guaranteed here. Although this says waiting for target. So you have to introduce a target to them that stays there, stays. whether that's you yeah. or an enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the lesson learned. They won't. There's no stickiness to targeting when you step out of the way. They don't just keep shooting. Mm -hmm. That's the part we were missing. Well, if we want to do Which, any honestly, damage now, we have to emergency move to get into range of someone, though. And and we might want to do that, actually, because we do have a turn limit here. Six turns is a long time, but we're struggling mm -hmm. to push the damage. But what are we even going to do afterwards? Just hammer fist? Yeah, I was thinking of just moving up here and then going for the stun dart and hammer fist both on the pistol thug and just try and... I guess that would remove it from the board, right? Six damage, four damage stun just kills it. is minimum range two. So where are we moving? Ah, you're right. We can't do that. Uh, Well, that means the emergency move doesn't have the ability to put us in range of the stun dart at all. Yeah. None of these are two away from a person. So yeah, just move up and hammer fist and uh, send it. Send it. Call that a... Called that a turn. So that happened first. But it was... But the attack order was that occurs third. Well, so did one and two not have targets? Their attacks happen and then they move. So if they don't have an attack, they just abdicate. And then in a round mm. after that, they start moving in, in terms so of their turn really order again. it's really two phases. Attack yes. Moves. Uh, Which simplifies it a lot, because then otherwise enemies would be moving out of range of... Like, how do you resolve pushing enemies into getting attacked at that point? Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of want to see what happens if we push the security, because this is already in the range of the welder, but it's saying waiting for target. But if we yeah. introduce it from in range of the welder to also in range of the welder, will it then? Maybe it... Yeah, that's a good idea. Although I don't know... The other thing that occurred to no me right push. here is that getting pushed could sometimes be advantageous mm -hmm. like we could block here and get pushed on purpose to get out of this attack if it if it was useful could but do it feels it feels like does the push do damage it does uh yeah okay. that one's four um 
Unfortunately, yes, though. Ah, oh, I should have used the quick block before we did that. But then but I wouldn't then have been able to hit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I guess we could have used dash there to get out of the way first and then done the attack. That would have been the that way to would, do it. That would be safe, but that's, it's all good. Uh, well, I mean, that means, well, actually, we can then do that. Dash up back to you and, and go it, for it a quick strike. It will only attack once. What? So it's no. not pushing again. It'll do its auto attack still, which is the same attack. Right, right. But oh, I see what you're saying. It, it, it will only do the mid-turn push once, but then it will always also push at the end. Definitely seems to be the Stop way it's working. Right. All right. Gosh, the enemies have so much health. How are we going to finish this in four turns? We're going to have yeah, to exactly. aggro. I mean, pushing... and uh, I think like the, the damage has to largely be generated by enemies on enemies in those circumstances. Mm -hmm. Where possible, But how are we maneuvering this welder to hit their friends? Because that's the real damage. Mm. We don't we don't have any pushes. We have we've we we could use some more movement. We could use some more movement. That's definitely clear that might me. be a priority for us. Counter has been surprisingly difficult to use. Because like we're gonna get pushed away. So Unless this we is can line ourselves up to get well. pushed into a wall on purpose. Well, I mean, that, this would be pushing into an obstacle, right? Yeah. So we would just not take any damage? Oh. You should try that right now and see if we retaliate mid-turn. I'm, I'm too curious. Retaliate. Why, why didn't you push us? Do it again. Try try harder. Counter again. <laughs> try harder. And then long strike, I guess? I'm going to long strike and see if that'll bait him into it. There we go. And now, bonk. Okay, okay. So no, defensive that's... actions don't trigger the enemy's response on their auto attack? Which means that we could do the block thing before they push. I guess it's because of defensive action. Auto attacks are triggering on movements or hostile actions, I guess. It seems to be some combination like that. <laughs> we're like we're like 80 percent broadcast and brain power is just simply just trying to understand how the enemies work uh-huh well i mean what that's going to be do? the key thing about the game as well so it's, right. it's the thing we have to oh no and it's attack like i don't mind if this were a true about if that. this were slay the spire and i were spending 80 percent of my energy trying to understand enemy moves it would feel bad but it's a tactics game so it feels good it was fine. Hmm. Hmm. Not uh -huh. super keen on any of this. I mean, we can get in there and send them left? Question mark. <laughs> this is probably the best expenditure of the things we can do right now. Why didn't they push us? Uh, that one had already done its auto attack. Had already pushed. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, we've got a combo we'll finisher. Push can we like, can we like quick block and then kill someone? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, quick block would not trigger the security's auto hit back at us, so may as well do that. Like I was looking at the combo finisher here, and then then we would get pushed and we could stun dart the pusher, and that's not terrible. Combo finisher to the welder. We would get pushed and we can stun dart the pusher. Also, yeah, like, so combo finish would... here and then get pushed? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Use it to our advantage since we've already blocked. Nice. I like that. There we go. Get stun darted. Good night. And then, like, shift and push them to the wall or something. And, th and then will they attack their friend? Yep. Aye! Aye! We're getting better! Good! Okay. We are learning! But how do we do 38 damage this turn? Mm. That's the question. That, that is oh, the question. so much. I mean, I think it oh. has to start with going around here and then doing and as then many pushes as we can. Quick strike, front kick, head smash, and just like pray that the numbers add up. It's pretty close, actually. In fact... Oh, we changed their direction to us. Quick walk. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Well, we nerf struck him a couple times, so maybe we will not take too much. Yeah. Ouch. Not, you know, 
not our cleanest fight. But we don't Certainly even have not. access to Counter Strike yet. We're still learning. You know, we're new agents. Uh, now, I hit back on them will be 10. But if we stun them, we won't even get that. Mm. So. I blocked I your think... welder. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Just like, don't weld me, bro. <laughs> Please, bro. Bro, don't weld me, bro. I think that I am, after this fight, I definitely feel like offense is the best defense in this game. At least it's easier for my brain to wrap around hitting and pushing compared to standing and, and, and blocking. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is the replay. Yes. What's going on? He's kind of retargeting them. Oh my God. That's still so brutal. It is. It totally is. Like eat motorcycle. I just can't believe that we just Wonder Woman blocked this welder. I mean, I'm going to be thinking about that all night. Like I don't know if even no she light. can block a welding torch with those things. No, though. no, nobody wants to stand in front of a welding torch. That's ridiculous. I don't even want to look at it. You have to wear eye protection to see it. Mm -hmm. Not to mention embracing its power with your mortal flesh. No, no. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I would strongly prefer not to. I would like to not. I like that these um, security guards, these pushy, pushy individuals have a have a wallet chain. That's a nice touch. Oh, I hadn't even seen that. Yeah, little 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 accent piece there. Mm -hmm. And the welders I... got the welders apron on and stuff. They they they're so poppy. The goatee was very uh very biker gang to me. Did they have a little? Did they have a little goatee or a little soul patch or something? I didn't notice that. Oh, see, it's, it's yeah, they, you can't notice it. All. That's what we're. That's why there's two of us. They've got the full Heisenberg. Oh my gosh. Okay. Standard Plus. Oh, you can get upgraded cards. Oh, you know this move. Discard all we cards in it. hand. Draw the same amount. Gain a momentum. But there's also the Standard Plus. I think this gives you the ability is to. Cool. It, it definitely is. But this gives us the ability, I think, to just ignore a target at the very start of the fight. Just go like, you're not... I don't care about you yet. Let's deal with everyone mm. else. Agreed. And it might make it easier to line up. We should totally go event. We got to see what events are. You, I mean... Your flight your has flight. been sabotaged. Take control of the flight. plane. Or grab a parachute and head for the exit. Apparently, yeah, we just had time to go over to LAX and we're, uh, we're going to be landing in Honolulu. <laughs> Wait, so our story so far is we fought our way through two consecutive restrooms, hit up the gym, and then went through the parking lot to get to the airport. Yep. Straight to the plane. The plane picked up from the parking lot. We had no boarding considerations whatsoever. We're just on here already. Fly the plane, 50% add enhancement, 50% long-term injury. We, we, we got to do it. Also, I thought it said fly the planet, which was very exciting. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's it's cool to do. It's cool to do. Add enhancement, momentum mastery. Increases max momentum by two. Max. Are we still going to get three a turn or are we hold over? I'd assume three a turn. Five a turn, rather. We're about to find out. It, does it give it a, a card that we have to play, or did we literally just... No, it's it's part of the enhancement system, so it's up here as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just have five That's momentum. Well, but that, that means we need more expensive cards. We, we can't even spend five momentum a turn right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to try. Okay, completely level within play our whole turns. hand. Three enemies as well, and these are just straight up normal thugs. All right, let's find okay. the way to get them to punch one another and then to hit them into one another as many times as we can. Was that last room an elite room? It may have been, right? The card rewards after yeah. it did seem anomalously good. And it was so much harder than all the rooms before with tankier enemies with more abilities. Like, mm -hmm. these are normal thugs. Let's slip down here. Give them a mm. bit of a kick and a smash. Yeah, but it feels quite limiting that that's all we can do, right? It does. And we can't get enough combo. Oh. Haven't got enough but movement it's... to get them to 
bump into one another here. Interestingly, though, we could shift and counter if they're doing eight damage. Uh, we oh, can't crap. shift to the correct space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We can Might shift be. emergency we... move to get there. We still, I, I don't feel like we need to, right? Still might want to jump in. It's still, it's still 10 damage. That's like, if we think of that yeah. as an attack card, it is our most powerful attack card outside yeah. of the yeah. finishes, right? Maybe we do want to do that. It's only three enemies, right? Like, what are we holding it for? Mm -hmm. That's right. I love how we backed up. Beep, beep, beep. Yo, don't mind me. I'm just coming into the restroom here. Have a quick <laughs> fight. Uh, it, it, it very much does look weird in the replay as well when that happens. I, I, I love that it's only restrooms also. This is this is bathroom percent is the run that we're on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, this is fights in tight spaces, specifically fights in restrooms. That's the only that's, that's... place... We're going to be fighting. Mm. Uh, dash the way out. Left spin kick. We can activate left spin kick by using a stun dart. Push the target to the left. Ooh. So if we're pushing a target... So we stun dart you. Oh, we can't stun How? dart you from here, right? We Wrong position. We need to get a point blank upgrade on our stun darts. How, mm. can, we, how can we stun fist? Dang. So the only thing we can do is like dash out this way and then stun dart upwards. Oh. Uh... Because we have right. no movement tech, unfortunately, at the moment. But now we're in a position... That didn't give us a combo, it looks like. No, I think that it was just the dash didn't give us a combo. Because we I... lost some combo. We were at zero, weren't we? No, we, we I think we had a combo at the start of the turn. Because the, oh, the counter gave it to us. Oh, right, right. No. Okay. No. Strange. So what does and what doesn't give us combo? Not yet certain. Step in a new direction. There's the counter. This counter would actually just instantly kill either of these targets. But we can hammer fist to kill this one and then move one over and then counter. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and we've got the step for it. Cool. Okay, I'm I'm watching the combo like a hawk. Like I need to I need to know. This is the next system for me to just understand. We just went down in combo. What do we use? We went down to one when we used whatever move we used at the end. We Did didn't we lose use combo head smash. when we move. I'm gonna watch again. Okay, what do you want to do clear. first? Stun dart. Uh, yeah, that's range two to eight. You can just throw that out. And uh, then like, slip forward and do a front kick. And then nerve strike, quick strike. Called turn. Oh, yeah, we have access to all the energy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. That gained combo. The movement lost it. I think movement is losing us combo. And I think the tutorial said that, but, uh, but you know, brains mm -hmm. have limited capacity. Did one quickly. That was a nice fight. Okay, so, so far we've unpacked how targeting works, and we've unpacked how combo works. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're equipped now. I think we have all the info. That back up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did you have to back into that space, dude? You've you got to keep your eyes on the enemy. You don't want to don't want to reveal your back to them at any point. Very like monster of Frankenstein move. Mm -hmm. Got the extra mana out. Ooh, swap places with an adjacent enemy and increase your combo by one. A movement that. Wait, but what's improvisation? Target will turn to face attack. Uh, improvisation, remove on player, so this would be once per round. Add a round of attack onto your hand, it costs zero energy this turn. So it's it's foreign influence? Yeah, yeah, it's it's got a foreign influence kind of effect to it. Although we have so much energy that I don't think that... Like, th this seems like its value is breaking out of the energy cycle for you a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And there's block, swap. I, I like the idea of swap, right? Just change the I position do too. of the target. We either need to have more movement for our enemies or more movement for ourselves. That's mm -hmm. been that's been a consistent limitation to using all of our attacks. It seems to give us both because it yeah. uh, also has or move one. Right, which is perfect. Okay. Okay. These are all getting a damage up at the start of their turn as well. 
Oh my. Uh, Is punch. that like... Uh-oh. Gains plus one damage for each turn alive. We have to end this quick. Complete level within five turns in order to get some bonus. Healing. Maybe com I think it's healing. Is that healing? I, that's the combo I bet symbol. That that's... Yeah, it is the combo symbol, isn't it? So maybe it's going to like... But what does that mean? Heck okay. if I know. How, but we, so we got to do it. The only way to learn is we got to we got to make it happen. All right. Let's start with a push that gets that to hit that. And then also a quick strike on you. Because the two combo. we left kick you. Oh, my gosh. To hit the other target and kill them. All right. Eight damage. What a turn. It has an attack target. It'll hit that attack target. And now we target. just combo or counter rather. Uh, yes, because that's eight damage on its hit. So we have the ability to just do that and pass. But is Although, it going well, early? Yeah, it's there. This one's uh, going to hit the other one, and then we're not even going to uh, be reflected to it. Um, can we shift into range of someone else? Mm, that one. Good question. Move past the target. Uh, oh, no. it's a diagonal. Mm, so it would okay. be that I, plus I, emergency move. I don't think I don't think so, right? Hold it. I love that just king hit instantly falls. It was so brutal. Six enemies Six are going to be enemies? coming out as well. Oh, okay. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. We need this efficient is actions. Mm -hmm. Slip moves around a target and then front kick. So we can slip around here and then front kick this target into this target, right? Get uh, six, ten damage on you and then four damage on the back line. Pretty efficient in terms of its damage output. Cool. Do we have somewhere we can hammer fist? Uh, the hammer fist is range one to two. I mean, we can do that in any target, right? Okay. We can, in fact, okay, we okay. can just destroy this target with it. Or we could even just punch the other one, right? I think I was confusing that with the one that needed you to be against a wall. Yes. But hammer fist gets some combo damage, so we would want a long strike first, I guess, right? Yeah, and then, in fact, we can long strike so we don't waste damage on this target. Six out of five, and then hammer strike here or here or here. Just basically depends. Since these two targets are adjacent to one another, I think we have more push opportunities, so they're going to be easiest to kill. Mm -hmm. so, oh, and we see where our new enemy is spawning in, and that'll be the last one, too. Yes. Honestly, this has felt pretty efficient. Like, we're we're on pace to get the six-turn kill. Mm -hmm. These enemies have quite easy-to-understand attacks as well, which I think is contributing to the efficiency we can generate here. It is, and I quite like that, actually. I, don't, I think that... When a tactics game is good, it's still enjoyable even when the enemies are doing simple things because the space is the multiplier on complexity and on expression, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. But we, this is our first turn to use a swap, too. Yeah, that it is. That seems like that's pretty good for us already. And we have a push. Oh, this turn is such options. It has a lot of options. There's a very simple play of like counter, block, quick block. Both of these targets deal 10 damage to themselves. This one dies, right? Um, mm -hmm. the only problem is that's, you know, for everyone else, quite slow. Mm -hmm. So how do we get this how to work How far can swap better? go? Is it only adjacent? An adjacent enemy, yeah. So... And it... it wait, is adjacency... Push? I don't think adjacency counts um, diagonals. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's cardinal adjacency. I think you're right. What is our useful push right now, if anything? Hmm... So if we move to here, pushing either of these targets would uh, reveal them to a discovered attack. In fact, pushing this target would get a kill. And that move is not possible. <laughs> so this could totally be our e-move turn. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing a line where we, you know, swap with the enemy to our right and then e-move up to the enemy that's on the wall mm -hmm. and get like a counter against them as a pretty efficient turn. How about we do that, but we do it with this prisoner? Because it'll die if okay. it gets hit. Okay, perfect. And then we e-move over to this one that's behind us now, and then we can even use a push against the wall. Ooh, yeah, so the push would be four damage against the prisoner, but if we e-move here and then counter, we can do 10. That's better. Good call, good call. I had totally forgotten that that was already part of the plan. That is a okay. There you go. Bingo. Okay, hit that. Rap. <laughs> it very much has the kind of like uh, the 
the feeling of a brawl, of a bar brawl. Uh huh. Well, and I want to make the sounds like old school Batman, you know. Pow! Kablam! Kablam, yeah. Uh, up to two tiles so away. Okay, so this can dunked. straight up kill the uh, the prisoner. And also, it will actually advance us. So if we can get to this space with a step, we can move up here, be in this position for a head smash. Yes. Yes. Or we Is could head smash even we before to... we go. Is there someone we need to stun dart? Can we? We could like we could head smash and nerve strike before we step, and then end with the stun dart combo finisher, and that would work. This will end our combo. Okay. Okay. So we do have to head smash last. Okay. But well, we can do the nerve strike now if it's useful to split it. Because is head smash killing the one? Uh yeah. Head smash will kill. Honestly, either targeted stun on, but it'll it will kill the prisoner. Then let's nerve strike the <gasps> one that's behind us. No! No! Won't! No! Won't! Uh, because the combo finish. Wait, no. Oh, they not. both end. Yes. 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 <laughs> this is the first cares. time we've run into this, really. Uh -huh. So then... the head smash past that point will be doing uh, twelve damage. So the nerve strike plus the head smash is still not going to be enough to get the kill on this prisoner, but it will take them down to one HP. Four, but then it'll be. It won't be. Tw is it going to be twelve or is it going to be thirteen? Oh, but it doesn't. Because we're going to get one combo back from Nerve Strike. It's going to be 13. They're dead. Oh, right. We use the Nerve Strike after we get here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, crap. We're not getting the kill here because we lost a combo when we stepped. Video game. We needed to use Video the stun dart. Game. Video game. We, I think we're still going to come in under the turn clock. So not a big deal, but... We definitely got video game. Uh oh. Turn to face us. Mm. Stun Turn to face us. Yeah. That's a <laughs> lot of damage. That's a spicy meatball went right wrong. there. Everything went wrong. It's so funny. All we had to do was stun dart there actually, and it would and it would have and it would have worked out, but mm -hmm. this is the range. you gotta make mistakes to learn. Ooh, swap's gonna be good for us here. Swippity swappity. We have to win this turn. Mm -hmm. So whatever kills everyone. So this is doing 11 damage, which will kill... Well, I mean, the, the only thing that kills everyone is killing them both ourselves this turn, right? Um, And we have okay. 11 and 4. Oh, we can do it with a double stun dart. We quick strike the one on the wall, step away, and then just throw two darts. And we're, and we're gold. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, quick step. Stun dart as kill. It stuns them forever. <laughs> Set phaser two. Perma stun. Sweet dream. Plus two to maximum combo. Yeah, it was plus two to maximum combo we picked up from the other completion. Break the limit. Ooh, combo counter. Combo counter. That's cute. Deals two damage plus two combo to incoming. So th yeah, that seems like that symbol is for if you are attacked, right? It's a reposting symbol. Break the limit is attack for 12. Add a slow bleed card to your deck. So it's a giant amount of damage. I imagine the slow bleed is you know, take a damage this turn or something. And we have lots of energy so or momentum, so we, we don't want this card. Mm. Body blow. Deal six Yo! and an additional 10 to stun enemies. Hey! Just, just click it. Just click it. We've got two darts. We've drafted the combo wombo. Now we only need to embrace the wombage. A bar fight. <laughs> It's a classic. It's the perfect setup for it. Block up. Ooh, is this one? Gives all allies four block at the start of the turn and has a sweep strike. Deals 12 damage in an arc around the enemy. So mm. they've got that arc around themselves. Interesting. Whoa. And are they're, But they're waiting for a target. Okay. Because we know that they won't target their friend at the beginning of the turn. Mm -hmm. They'll only... Okay. Enemies in this game are kind of like... They're like the turrets from Portal. They're waiting for a novel object to enter, mm -hmm. and then they will fire at it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's getting gunned down. That's a great description of them, frankly. We could stun dart this spiker, then move up. Wait, hang on, do, how do we move up one space? Oh god! Do we god. only have move from oh, e move this turn? No, we no, got we dash. dash. Okay. So we stun dart here, then we dash upwards, and then we would quick kick to move you backwards to hit the pistol thug. Perfect. Uh, and then we even have the ability to left spin kick. 
after that with the oh, obtained. Sweet. Okay, so stun. Turn seems dope. Dash. The kick pushes you. And we'll get to see if they get unstunned by this next attack as well. So we'll be doing that attack. Whoa! Oh, the movement! The movement! Oh, but the hammer fist. It's okay, still we works. have hammer fist. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, unless we want to throw that against a different target. It might not be bad to hit the one that's on the wall. I don't really have a... Oh, although it's read. about to hit an ally, right? So it just decreases damage. Wait, no, that was the... That's not the card that decreases that's nerve the damage? Strike. Nerve, nerve Strike. Nerve Strike is the one that... Hammer Fist is the one that goes up with with Combage. Mm -hmm. Combage. Nice. Still stunned, so that just must be a full turn no, no matter what. I wonder if you can stack them. Like, if I nice. double stun someone in a turn, are they going to be stunned for two turns? Or are they stunned at the end of that turn still? All I know is that is a sweet beard on Dr. Whirlwind. Mm-hmm. Deeply cool. envious. The, the Santa Claus of Super Hot. <laughs> He's here to gift out hands. <laughs> He's just... Like, Do you want a gift of these hands? Five times... Tw oh, right, because each of the threatened spaces would be five, right? So it's the five mm. times 12 is it's targeting. Hey, this bike oh, is still stunned. When do they unstun? I have no clue, but not yet. When they die. <laughs> They're going to unstun pretty quick here. Uh, so we can kill the pistol thug with just the combo finisher. That seems like and a pretty decent idea to me. Dark Unless combo we want to... the rest of the fight. Well, so is is um, the, the Santa Claus of fighting... Can we push them into the gun? No, because they're against the bar, right? Yeah, we would need to be able to push them left. Okay. Which we okay. can't do. Um, without our left left kick. Let's give you the combo finish. Oh, the they had full block. block. It's okay. We have Nerve Strike. They're dead. Are they? Nerve Strike's four damage. They still have six. Ooh. Then what did we miss, Calc? Did we need to do Nerve Strike combo finisher? The other order? To get the extra... Combo times two. I does this get an extra combo times two? Oh yeah, two times combo damage, right? Oh, you know what the miscalc was? I thought it was eight mm. times two, not eight oh. plus two times. Eight plus two times. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay, the miscalc. You know, the numbers are very small in this game. We can. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on though. You go hit that. You finish it for me. Yeah, baby. That's the plays. And then we can even still nerve strike you, right? Uh, no, you're out of range now. One to one. Whoops, should have done that first. Oh, so <laughs> Santa. No. Oh, this is... You're getting cold. This is body blow as well. And it's got the Santa on it individually. So we... Like Are a we being fit, taught man. a lesson? Somebody is about to get body blow. Santa has 60 health? Oh, no. Mm. Santa's oh. healthy as hell. Santa. We were at a target game one. Okay. So we're not going to be able to pull the, the biker into this in any fashion, trying to get a, a two hit out of the chonk. Chonk is their name as well. That's amazing. Can What about, what about something simple? What about something simple? What about... Oh, I was going to like slip away, stun dart, and then long strike back. But that's the wrong one. It's the long kick or whatever it's called that advances us. Yes. This one doesn't advance. Or we just use fist magic. Yeah, so we don't have access to two movement this turn. So if we are using body blow, it's stun dart the biker over here and then slip up for the movement and then body blow, which is totally fine. And then we just block and counter. Mm -hmm. That actually, well, but we can't counter unless we're right next to them. Sure, but... But we just... But it's fine. But we still... Yeah, okay. Okay, I like this. This play seems strong. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. It looks like a spidey web into his eyes. Sp not, not safe. Sp spidey man does that constantly. Oh, right. Oh, the, the broad swipe of this. We are going to hit or be hit. But the, counter, but the counter will block it, right? It's only five damage. Or is it 12 damage? Uh, it's, it's 12. Oh, jeez. So we're going to be taking some hits here. 
I suspect we may be... We may be, uh... Maybe need some medical attention. We may have to. Doctor, please. We passed the target. We moved here. And then I could try and push them forward with the not push in hand that we don't have. We still have five turns to finish this. 12 and block, 8. Block, quick block, counter. Yeah, we can actually just straight up, straight up block all of their attacks. And just quick strike Santa. Santa. Yeah, because that one's going to be dying, uh, dying as well. That's that's great. Mm -hmm. It was a great turn. That was that was the best feeling counter turn that we've had yet. That was the turn that made that first shot feel really good. Yeah, when you get the density of them in the same hand, it's real dang impressive. Okay, uh, head smash. So the adjacency, yeah, that proves the point. Adjacency's not there. Um, although, no, swapping with the target isn't even going to put the adjacency there. We can front kick them and then try and do that. But then we... Have to just move directly in front of them. And we wouldn't we would only be able to block half of the damage. So that feels not ideal, right? And they'll turn to face us as well, so we really want to use head smash as a finisher unless Hold we up, have though. the amount of block on the turn. Yep. If we swap to their left side and then front kick, we'll be out of range and we will put ourselves in a position where we might be able to just yeet them out of this bar next turn. If we swap to their left side. So swap is only going to move us one space oh, unless right, we swap with swap. the enemy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, right, right. I was thinking of slip. Slip, yes. not swap. Okay. We can also see okay. at their feet the, the directionality of all of the attacks they're going to be making. Do we, do we just front kick them back towards the corner then? Seems likely, right? Right? And just kind of put him in a tough spot. It's too bad head smash is like not the play. But I don't, I mean, we've still got four turns and it feels like losing that health is pretty not ideal for us. Mm-hmm. Ah, <gasps> uh, we should have quick struck first, just do the damage. Yeah, that's true. But that's Oops. okay. We got lots of turns. There's your block, you move forward. Push, nerve strike, long strike, hammer fist. Dash. Okay, so we still don't have two movements, so we still can't really do it. Right, because dash is two movement, but we can't go diagonal. It's two movement in a line. Mm -hmm. Which is which is okay. Wait, I mean, we, but we can push them towards the corner again. We'll just continue to send them into this corner until we can hopefully... Next turn, we might get, like, left kick, and then we can step forward and push them out. That's possible. That'd be sweet. Uh, I wonder if maybe we want to dash to, like, here, giving us that positioning. Mm, true. Dang, they oh, just moved further. They, we they, got less pinky. Okay. Though. Actually, the enemy's really only got can... 29 HP at the moment, including their block. We can kill them. Yeah. <laughs> the combo finisher is 28 damage right now, so I uh, think we might have an ability to kill them. Uh, up to two tiles away. Okay, up. let's step away. Go to sleep. And then... Ooh, Santa! The toys! <laughs> Straight over the bar. Add a random movement card to your hand. The drawn card. Costs zero energy this turn. Uh, advance towards the selecting, getting me up to three tiles away. Maintain combo whilst doing That's so. That's pretty cool. And then there's focus for movement, which we don't need. We're taking one of these two movement abilities, right? Depth mm -hmm. or close in. And depth, the energy is, like, it's just, it's random, okay. So it just increases the saturation of our current movement card. Yeah. And I imagine, like, in in the next cycle, that movement card will still be there. It will just cost energy mm -hmm. that time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> what, is, what is your preference here between depth and close-in? Do you want new options, or do you just want to find the same options? Probably that new. We have? I think so, too. Because a lot of times it feels like we want more... Ooh. It's Wait, depth targets? with same options. Depth with same? Depth is the one that gives us one of the cards that's in our deck. Does it? A random oh, movement card. I think it just says I misread the drawn. card. Okay, okay, okay. I thought depth was going to fetch a movement card from our deck. No, it's making one. Seems so. 
Okay. Seems so, okay, nice. or at least we'll be able to show that in one of the fights. We've got event, we've got a parking, and we've also got a tattoo studio. Uh, we can also see the reward variations between them. Two extra max combo, as well as money, as well as a card. This is a card do you want to just money, go money. event event medical? Let's do it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling wraps. I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> Your suspect is escaping on a motorbike. Steal one yourself and follow suit. Why not? How hard can it be? <laughs> do it. Do it. Actually, no! it's quite hard. You've fallen into yourself. <laughs> we took more damage from Santa than from the motorcycle, so that was... Uh... Mm. Would you like to take this one? Sure. You meet an old contact. They're working freelance and need some help bringing down a high-value target. Wish him luck or share some of your intel for cash. I'm about it. We got to see these events. True. We also do have medical where we may need to pay for some health back, but... I do want yeah, to just see him. Yeah, here. Okay, so it's not all the cash. We just lose 50. There's nothing they can give you in return yet. It was so mysterious. Okay, a future tile, perhaps. Okay. So are we... I need healing. Wait. Oh, I do have control over the map there. Okay, so we've got gym and medical. Let's go for the medical for healing. Remove injury. We don't have that. Increase your max health. It's by two. And then there's heal for 15, which I think we'll probably want to take two times. Oh, what? Once! It goes up. Okay. So that's like a thing in the game, it seems. Mm -hmm. It's consecutive Repeat purchases action. of the same kind of thing as well, because the other two did not increase. Max health is only for two and it costs 50? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Max health is that's damn extreme. important is what we're learning, I think. Is this the final fight or is this like a boss? Are there multiple acts? I do not know. Hmm. It's uh, It seems like you wouldn't have much time to develop your deck if this is the final possible fight. Yeah, that's true. So, range attack that deals to half damage. We're not going to be is... able to give them a discovered boss. Biker boss. Okay, so yeah, this will be the end of the mission that we selected at the very start then, right? That's a pretty sweet looking pair of boots. Uh-huh. I'm a little envious, to be entirely honest. You got Spurs, what go jingle, jangle, jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting stunned is the question. That's a good question. But I think we should start with Deft. See sure. if we get any information. Yeah. Option, Option play. play. Attack for Ooh. six or move two tiles. Okay, we have a lot of move in this hand. But, like, not a lot of damage. We also don't have a lot of we... movement of enemies. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. So, do we just want to escape the pincer and go deal with the solo gunman using, like... A combination of stun dart and then dash and then option play damage and hammer fist or something and just go put damage online yep and probably target okay. the one that's next to the wall so we have the ability to do pushes and stuff later yeah we're coming imagine someone throwing a stun dart at you and then wait so wait this discovered attack will try and occur <laughs> What changed? That's the same thing we did before. Is it because we were in range at the start of the turn instead of moving in and out? Yeah, it must be, right? And so there was still a target. So it wasn't like... <laughs> so... It's... It's, it's rock science. It's, it's rock not... science again. Have you played Loop Hero yet? Not yet, no. Soon. That's, okay. that's in a couple days' time. Let's go for the Smash. option play for damage, then hammer for damage. Smash. All right. Eight HP left on them. Good turn. Good turn. Mm -hmm. I have no clue why that didn't cancel the gunshot. Neither. Hmm. Step and front kick. Step is not around, move is not around, body blow. Okay. Uh, so we're probably not going to be able to just, like, get that thug over here. Oh, we can still use... Okay. I thought body blow was only usable if they were stunned, but it just does bonus damage. You can still mm -hmm. use it as, like, a kind of quick strike. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Definitely true. I mean, if we did the front kick here, it just dies. Right. And then maybe we step in and do some head smashing and combo finishing. Um... Uh, and then emergency move out. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. This is, does it seem spicy? Seems it spicy. seems very, very spicy. But what is the range on this lad too, Max? Uh, yeah. This this guy has range enough to hit us here. Okay. So, so we, step so we, in, we, and then we'll emergency move anyway. can get us to a safe position. Yes. Okay. Head smash and combo finisher will both try and finish that combo, though. That's true. So we would want to combo first. So we body blow, combo, head smash. Dude, it's a bunch of yes. Damage. The combage and the wombage. Oh, Just my friend. <laughs> Just leaps backwards. <laughs> uh. Oh man, if only we can move up here and then swap and then push. Yeah. Just one movement short. But, but we have block counter counter. Does that block all the damage that's coming in? 16 and the other one's what? Uh, 12. 12, okay. Dang, 28. However, if we just move up one space and go counter counter, that's 20 damage to the biker boss. That seems really rad. We should do it. Oh, if we swap me. with them, oh, let's push. if we were able to swap with them, would they stay facing the wall? Like we can't. No. But if we could walk up. It has a rotate, so they... they would target to face us. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hit me. I, we can push them oh. for just one damage. I, well, hey, it does no damage. Never mind. Does it they give us combo? Still us. Uh, you know, it may. Oh. It did. Nice. They're still going to hit they us. Step, they step forward for their attack, right? Yeah. Brap. 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 Oh, it counted as two attacks. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So if enemy had like a special ability, like a thorn style ability, then something to consider. Can we stun dart over the table? Yep. If they've got ranged attacks there, we've got ranged attacks there, it looks like. Uh, seems a reasonable approach. I dig it. Just talk it to the left. And then we just unload the rest of our damage on the other target. Stun dart and then and then quick kick. Uh, quick kick. It would have to be quick kick and then shift towards them, I guess. Yeah, anything oh. is going to move them, so. We'll move Are they going to die when we do our spin kick? Yeah. Yeah, they die. Mm -hmm. Golden. And now we have five turns with which to dispatch this last. Oh! Bosses? Fight complete. End that fight. Good work, Agent 11. You've disrupted a large part of the Death's Head infrastructure. It was nothing. What's next on the agenda? Well, take a look. And then it goes back to mission select to continue. Dude, GG, oh. that, that was really fun. It was indeed. I'm really excited by this game. I, do, um... I, I wish I had, I, I, I'm still like, we're like this close to fully understanding the enemy targeting system. I feel like mm -hmm. there's still like one tiny gap, but we mostly get it. Yeah, it's the introduction of a new target, specifically yourself, and then removal of that target that I'd like a little clarified. One other thing that I want to little, uh, know a little bit more about would be the uh, the ways in which combo is gained. Um, yeah. It, it's lost by movement, that much is clear. Um, mm. But it was also gained by a push there. So is it anything that connects with an enemy but does not move? That must be it. That must be. I almost want to go back to the tutorial because I think it. I think it split it into just two buckets. I think mm -hmm. it was movement abilities, lose combo. Enemies interactions with enemies gain combo or something like that. And so maybe like, did you notice was swap neutral? Ooh, I did not notice on using that. No. Yeah, I should have paid attention to that too. Yeah, but it and and you know I, I'm kind of glad that. Because you, you think, like, you just put one more symbol on the card. But how many symbols do you need on the card, right? There's already four or five on some of the cards, so. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, it could get mm. to be overloaded that rate. But mm. the moment. That's fight in, uh, fights in tight spaces. Yeah, super fights in tight spaces. <laughs> super fight. Super fight. If you're able to find Very a fun. link in the description down below to the Steam Store page where you can pick this up for yourself, should you be interested. Uh... Talking about those links down there. Hey, um, hey, take. 
Yes, Rhapsody. I was... So, obviously, as I mentioned previously in uh, in, in Ladder Streak endings, uh, especially in seasons one through four, uh, obviously, during that period of time, I have... <laughs> it was the cup coming up. It was the cup coming up that got me. <laughs> during that period of time... They got me! Santa! During that period of time, Twitch was uh, something that I was really paying a lot of attention to, right? I was I was looking <laughs> for for you know commentators on Twitch that I might be interested in watching, but I find myself flush with disposable income at the moment. Mm. And instead of browsing Twitch, I've been browsing Patreon a lot recently, or Patreon wow. depends on the way you pronounce it. Um, and I was just wondering, that's a pastime. That's that's a that's a pastime of people. I mean, you know, the the moneyed people. I've uh, I've I've disposable Respect. income at the moment, so that's that's a uh, moneyed class kind of signifier for me. But on that site, I've been looking for a Patreon that I can support that would also support a creator that I'd previously been watching on Twitch. Now, you wouldn't happen to have any recommendations along those lines, would you? Um, I rolled a seven for mm -hmm. my will save. Do I I'm have to answer? Sorry, 12 is the resist. Okay. Um, well, there's you. You're on Patreon. It's true. That'll be linked in the description it's, down below as well. It's quite good. It's really well worded. Um, absolve yourself of the, the sin of running an ad blocker. It's just brilliant. Levitus, it, concise. Thank you. Um, yeah, there's a lot of creators on there, but uh, but I'll but I'll bite. I I did create a Patreon, um, and it has been asked of me many times. I was I was hesitant to do it mm -hmm. because I felt at first that I needed to you know, like do a weekly vlog for patrons and stuff. But I finally woke up and and realized that people weren't asking for me to do more work. They were just asking for an alternate way to support content like this and content like I make on Twitch. So I opened up a little Patreon under my name under Sneaky Teak with a couple mm. kind of cutesy descriptive tiers. There there really is nothing on it. It is is purely just an outlet if you if you really love what I make to help support me in continuing to do lovely collabs like this with Rhapsody and all of the stuff that I do on stream. I played 27 hours of Loop Hero in the 2 days before Loop Hero released and and got this close to beating it. That was my goal, to beat the game before mm -hmm. it came out. We 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 were close, but it's good stuff. Got Check very out. close to within striking distance of it. And uh, mm. Loop Hero as well, by the way. Not necessarily going to manage to finish in the series, as uh, it's something with which Teak has a lot of experience. I'm, I'm too oh. expert. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. I'm That's late. more than okay, because it means that in the description mm. down below, I can also link towards uh, perhaps the first stream that you did of Loop Hero for, uh, for yeah. people to go okay. and peruse. I know there is a lot of hunger for Loop Hero content out there. And yeah. a lot of hunger for more content with Teak, so it can satisfy both of those at the same time. Thanks for the shout out, Raps. I appreciate it. No I'm glad to be here me. every week. Seriously, it's a highlight of my of my week. Could for not. Me, Raps. Thanks for having me, folks. Could not agree Thanks more. For fighting in tight spaces. The moment. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you next week.